Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. That is my 2021 Coachman Beyond behind me that's built on a 2020 Ford Transit chassis. There it goes. Now, that's what I usually tell you guys, but my location is a little bit different. It looks like I'm in a campground, right? Well, I am in a campground, but I'm actually in Middlebury, Indiana at the Coachman Factory. That's right, we're gonna do a Coachman Factory tour right now. We're getting into that. Look, Lola's here. The factory's behind me over here. Um, I'll roll in some footage for you guys, but yeah. Let's uh, go check out the factory, Lola, come on. Hi, morning. All right, so listen. <laughs> I think we've given you the intro. Let's get into it right now. And nothing's pulled up. Nothing changed except for this and this. Okay, so in, inside they haven't changed anything. Correct. Correct. Okay, this looks good. This looks even more. Yep. This looks even more refined and European now. I'm kind of torn, and you're more than welcome to keep this going, Lola. I'm kind of torn on that versus this. This is injection molded, this isn't painted by us, so if it tears through, um, it's gonna have to get re repaired by Ford, but that is, keep it simple. It you is. You don't have to worry about damage. But yeah. This dresses it up a little bit. So my thing with this, I think this looks better mm -hmm. aesthetically, because one, it all blends it in. I wish they didn't do the chrome part yep. of it, yep. but it does blend it all in. You, yep. are, you are gonna run into the expense problem if something happens to this, yep. but the thing that happens to these is what's happening to this one already. It washes, it washes out like this. Yep. And then you have to figure out, like, how do I bring that back to life yep. and all that kind of stuff. So I think aesthetically, if you're careful. Yep. <laughs> no, you know, one good thing though is um, we do paint the bumpers on Mercedes. Mm -hmm. This is OEM. This yeah, is OEM, this is so that's that's, yeah. that's really this nice. looks this all all of this like blends in and looks more designed and like this is the way it, and it's massaged. Yep. You know, one of the things I like that they're doing is that they're keeping what was there and just slowly bringing it in. Yep. Right. So yep. it's just the little things that separate it from. Uh, so there's not there's no other um, features. Like you can't get the the seats can't be leather on these. Uh, how, how we does that? we cover the seats, okay. Okay. Um, and I'll show you where we do that inside the plant. Okay. Uh, we did a couple units. I'm gonna uh, those who know who you are in this mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. You had us order the Ford leather seats, uh -huh. and we just didn't like the way they came in. Okay. Uh, we thought they could be a little bit better yeah. for our type of customer that's gonna be spending right. a ton of time traveling. Yeah. Not just eight hours a day back and forth doing yeah. quick trips around town, which these are designed yeah. to do. I think there's people that want the power seats. <laughs> yes. So that's, yep. and then the other thing I was gonna ask you while we're here talking about it is the power doors. Yep. So did you, uh, so you guys do not order power doors or how does that work? So um, we try to go by experience and what okay. we know, mm -hmm. and that's a really good question. 2000, uh, I might be wrong here, 2019, mm -hmm. Um, the new Mercedes came out yeah um, and a couple of the items that, that they were really hanging their hat on was the power door mm -hmm. and I go in when I'm traveling throughout the country and I got to take an uber to mm -hmm. a hotel when I get out of the aer airport mm -hmm. I usually am in a minivan mm -hmm. and that power door on that 2007 Chrysler mm -hmm. <laughs> works <laughs> yeah and the guy can control it from his dash and it works right. and it opens and it closes yes well what we found out um, on the onset is we were struggling and I think Mercedes okay. was struggling with the power door. Okay. And there were some things that we learned from the power door. If it was yesterday here, Lola, and we had our air conditioner going all day, right? Mm -hmm. And it was humid yesterday. Um, the power door, you really can't stop it. It's got to go full open mm -hmm. and then full close. So if you've got your air conditioning, you're mm -hmm. in Death Valley, and you got to come out of your van, you got to full open. Mm -hmm. All suck that heat comes out. in or right. suck it all. And yeah. then, so yeah there's pluses and minuses here's one of the things like the smaller vans the pro masters um they're smaller and the doors are lighter, lighter. these are heavier doors they are heavier so doors. for for lola she always struggles with the door but even i do okay no that's fair you know and then and then when you do have um 
when you do have, uh, like, if you have a certain kind of suction going on there, the door gets even heavier Heavy. True. To, to move. Good so, point. You know. we'll, we'll take a look at it. I want to yeah. wait a generation. Yeah. Wait a no, generation. Yeah, it's not necessary to rush into yep. it. But it's that's something that has to come from the factory. Yep. Yeah. This is something new. Um, we got it tail end of last year. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a front camera to see mm -hmm. how close you are to... Yeah. Mine computer. has something like that. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, again, we went OEM rim. We're trying to We've been see. doing this for a while. And we're starting out outside. For anyone who's watching yep. this, we're just jumping in here. And we're starting outside. I wanted to start outside with the vans yep. as they come. So This, that's is, this where... is the first stage. This is the most important yes. stage. If we don't have these, nothing happens in the rest of the video, right? Right. So yeah. <laughs> here we've got our Dodge product. Yeah. Um, one thing that we were talking about on the way up here, walking to the chassis yard, is we've got Dodges that we bring in without windows. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, the Fords we bring in with windows. So that's what I see here. Yep. These have their windows already. Yep. Okay. And then the Mercedes behind Lola we bring in without windows. So without. So that's what this yep. is. This yep. is that's not okay. your Visqueen treatment. Mm -hmm. and this is how it comes shipping, right? Yep. This is okay. straight from Mercedes. Straight mm -hmm. from Mercedes. So why? Why? Let's start with Galleria. Why this? Uh, Mercedes only offers a fixed window. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't do a vented window. Yeah. So we go right. in and install vented windows. Yeah, on on, um, on other things that I've looked at, I've spent a lot of time looking at things, there's really no venting at all. Maybe like you'll get a small vent down yep. here. Yep. But, but I've noticed that, like, oh, wait, you can't open up something up here or... Well, depending on the floor plan, uh -huh. let's say this was a 24FL, which our cabinet, our refrigerator, shower, and everything would be mm -hmm. on driver's side. Okay. In that case, Hank, we black out, and mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a... We put in a blank okay. that if the wind can't blow... Uh -huh. anything open because you'll never be able to get behind here right so your shower would be here your yeah it's not necessary be here. it's just it's the illusion. just window just yes. window and then we do some yes. blackout treatment the yeah. windows regardless if they're tinted or not um they're always what's bringing the heat into the van yes so we really build up behind our showers yeah. earlier in in our yeah. in our uh beginnings uh i don't think we did a good enough job we got some reports from the field that hey our showers are kind of warm well they're in extreme warm climates florida texas yeah out in southern california so we really worked on that it's going to retain yep. heat so and then also safe. like windows are so thin yep depending on what it is you yep. know it just doesn't have really good insulation yeah windows so. typically um we don't have a, a dual pane alternative mm -hmm. we do have dual paint alternative for everything else here on okay. complex but just not automotive windows not automotive yep. windows so height wise i noticed this is higher than the ford yep. is that something that came from the factory is this lifted from the factory this is four wheel drive this is this four wheel is drive, four -wheel so drive. The, yeah okay. and then the ford is four wheel drive but without the lift it's all wheel, wheel drive and yeah. that's one of the things i like Okay. Um, about the Ford chassis since we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. We do get some reports of people going east to west, I-80 mm -hmm. toll road, getting in Nebraska that, and I'm just just telling you mm -hmm. the feedback that we get because mm -hmm. that's my job, um, maybe a couple inches too high in those 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 it's side winds. All yep. of this, it's like that on my van. Yep. If you're going really fast, which I tend to do, you yep. know, Often. I always obey the speed limit, yep. <laughs> but I gotta get there. Yeah, you're a sail, yep. and, you, and that thing could move you yep. across. Yep. So yeah, that's that's. So for me, I like this if I'm driving slow or off road because yep. of clearance. Yep. But I worry about it in that case. And my next question I was going to ask you: Have you thought about like adjustable air suspension, or is that just something that down the road you're worried about it breaking? We do adjustable VB air suspension on the. Galleria on the gallery gallery and it's called VB air suspension. It's okay. put in by a gentleman off of County Road 17 It's used by advanced RV over mm -hmm. in Ohio, right? It's used by uh, Airstream mm -hmm. and you do get some in, it's airbag I don't think we have anything on complex now, mm -hmm. but it it gives you a couple inches of manipulation by so pumping up the airbag. Bit of yep. the best of both. Yep. This is really the best for going off-road standard. You just need to take your time. <laughs> yep. And this is about a three-inch difference yes. between a, a two, a yeah. two-wheel drive. And then underneath there, you got because I so the other day, and I think I have pictures of this. Uh, we went to a gas station. It was kind of tight to park, and I had to, and I backed in, and there was a concrete sidewalk there, and I didn't think about it. Yep. I just backed all the way in, but yep. I've got a generator in the back, and when I was coming out, I was like. 
Okay. Yep. Did I scratch up this generator, rip it off? Yep. And it was just a little bit of clearance. Yep. Do you guys think about that ahead of time? We or? do. Uh, we okay. repositioned our exhaust pipe. Our exhaust used to come out the rear. Mm -hmm. And then what you're talking about is mm -hmm. if, if Hank didn't realize that there was a cement uh, parking stop here, yes. he would continue going. And let's say we had a battery here or a Boom. generator <laughs> exhaust. And you'll hear that. Yeah. Usually you hear it from the front end of people yeah. doing it. Uh, their yeah. their their uh, cowl. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just yes. was up at Walgreens yes. and somebody just did it right <laughs> right next to me. So, and that's a really good point because if yeah. you do notice, I love all of our chassis. Mm -hmm. Fond of the Ford. Mm -hmm. um, it does stick out rear wheel. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, a lot back here. A yeah. lot. Yeah, we can. That's just something. something so, to take so a look when at. these come in here, I know like on the transits you do a sumo springs. Yep. Is it already on it? No. Okay. No. So, so right now, as these sit, they don't have that nothing. on. There. These are bare from okay. this is. So our Dodges get built in Mexico. Okay. They get shipped to Baltimore, the port okay. of Baltimore, uh -huh. and then get um, freighted to us via truck trailer. Okay. Fords get built in the Kansas City, Missouri plant. Yes, these are American all the way. Yes. Yep. That and then that's, that's rail cool. yarded. Yeah from Kansas City, rail yeah. yarded to Elkhart County, and, yeah. we, and they, they bring them over in trucks. Yeah. And uh, Mercedes, it used to be that they were built in Germany, disassembled, reassembled in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now they have the South Carolina plant up and running in full all production. Assembling it. Yep. So also completely built in, in America. Yep. Like the, that's the one good thing yep. with the Mercedes. Yep. Yep. Chassis-wise, since we're having that chassis conversation right now, uh, between the, the, uh, the Dodge, the Ford, and the Mercedes, I know there's differences, right? Yep. What do you think of the differences that you see uh, from you guys' point of view, having to build on them and reliability, sure. customer feedback, sure. all that kind of stuff? Um, you know, we started out with Mercedes um, uh -huh. on the 170 extended ch chassis. And, um, you know, when I first came here, it was real tough because I came from towables mm -hmm. and I can order a 20 foot frame, a 21 foot frame, a 22 foot frame. I can't stretch these anymore. I got to buy a new chassis. Yeah. So we we had to be really tight on our floor plans. You know, we had to know exactly what we needed to do. I like the Mercedes because it's 24 feet. Right. And we can do a couple more things. We yeah. can add some more livability. We can add some creature comfort. So, so this is the longest. That's the, the longest. Yep. Okay. And we don't have any plans going any any shorter. Mm -hmm. um, Mercedes. Uh, you're going to get a ton of tech. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to get the four wheel drive with the lift. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to get a lot of the driving features that, that a, most of our customers that gravitated to us have in their driveway, mm -hmm. and they want those, the right. Mercedes owners, okay? Right. okay. Um, so Mercedes, great product, um, very well engineered, and then we come to the Ford. The Ford was our second choice of chassis. Mm -hmm. um, um, we have a strong relationship as Forest River slash Coachman mm -hmm. with Ford, and it was just natural, just yeah. natural. This is amazing thing. I, my personal opinion that Ford did right here. Well, you know, I, I think that the the four by four. I'm not going to knock it at all, absolutely. right? I'm a huge fan of that. Yeah. And in the past, that's the direction I would have gone. But this is kind of like right in the middle, more flexible of a system. I yep. think not as capable off road as this, but it gives you so much more every day on road. Like it's. Yep. <laughs> to you, drive it, you, everything. You raise a, a couple points. Mm -hmm. This is all-wheel drive. We do build on rear-wheel rear wheel drive as well, but we're seeing most of the demand on all-wheel drive. Are you switching? Are you going to switch to all all-wheel drive, or are you still going to give people an option? We were we were 60-40 okay. last year, 60% all-wheel drive, 40% rear-wheel drive. Okay. We'll probably just go 80% okay. uh, all-wheel drive, 20% rear-wheel drive. Okay. Um, but one thing, a couple things that are nice. We talked, we, we build on the 2x4 and 4x4 Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Since we're next to a 4x4 Mercedes, you know, mm -hmm. one thing is with the Ford all-wheel drive, all four wheels are working all the time. Yes. If I'm going down the road and I'm heading down to Gainesville, me and the wife and kid are going to come to your house and we get one of those traditional Florida three inches of standing rain yeah. on the on the interstate, right? Yeah. That we, I mean, it's yeah. it's sun tough. shower. Yep. Um, you got to shift this into four wheel drive. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If you didn't already have it in. Yeah. Automatically already there. Already there. Yeah. No shifting. No massive. Yeah. Um, you know, you can see some chassis envy here a little bit. Right. Mercedes has really led on the tech with the display in mm -hmm. 2019 and some of those innovations. You're seeing Ford, I'm going to say chase them a little bit. I yeah. think they did a great job with Mercedes. The competition's good, I yep. think, yep. giving people a lot more options. And yet, um, you know, I talked to Ford about this all the time. Let's keep our price point. Let's mm -hmm. keep our price point. I'm okay with you chasing Mercedes technology, 
but we don't need another that's Mercedes. That's why, and that's a, that's another big reason. I think Lola would say that on her part. <laughs> yep. She wasn't ready to kick out the Mercedes money yeah. at that point. Yep. You know, like yeah, it's a lot but, of money. Yeah, but All this this was really like the best of both yep. worlds, like a good value. Yep. And the, the money, lots of capability. The value of the transit chassis. What's been mm -hmm. good for me is I'm not a, necessarily a car guy, but mm -hmm. when I came here, we in 17, we just entered our first Tampa show with the product called CrossFit at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and we got sued for using the name. We can touch on that a little mm -hmm. bit later. Um, so I got to see the infancy of the transit. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about the old motor, mm -hmm. the non-eco boost motor, yeah. however, you know, engine yeah. cowl changes, yeah. et etc. Et it's a Ford, it's a, it's a Ford Raptor motor that's in there, the V6 twin turbo. Yep. Yep. And it, it, <laughs> big deal. It does some damage and yeah. it's actually got better engine metrics yeah. as a gas platform mm -hmm. than the Mercedes, right. um, which is impressive. It's 22 feet two. Yeah. Um, so it's more of a two person. We get a lot of two right. people campers. Yeah. So um, you don't. So you're not doing these in configurations as four seaters. Like no. Nope. You, you don't have jump seats and stuff like that in these. Yeah. This, do people do? Are people looking for that? Some people are. We've got okay. a manufacturer down south that uh, what they do is they will put a fiberglass. They mm -hmm. chop the roof off mm -hmm. a, of a low roof mm -hmm. transit. Uh, they put a fiberglass big cap on it that's mm -hmm. got a window, mm -hmm. and they put six seats in there. And okay. it's. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki uh, okay. owns one because he can yeah. extend that seat all the way back that right. he can't in a yeah. Yukon or a Escalade yeah. or, or whatnot. You right. see him running around town. Okay. But um, but typically it's people like myself and Lola yeah, that have these. The, the, the yeah. Beyond 85% of, mm -hmm. of, of our Beyond customers, two people, maybe entertain four outside, right. bring them inside for a little bit. Yeah, they can but sit then down sleep in too. There. Yeah. But sleep too. And it's you know it's your get up and go vehicle. So this is the new one for anyone who's looking at this. Yep. So this is a 2022 2020 pardon me. 2021. So this is a 2021 yep. Ford Transit chassis yep. right here. Yep. Okay. Just and delivered. it's gonna be part of the 2022 line coming out for folks who there have theirs on order. Yep. Yeah, so I think you're getting a very good looking yep. vehicle here. A little better looking than what's out right now. And since, you know, Hank's building his platform and he's going to be able to reach um, a, a lot of, of you folks that he's met mm -hmm. uh, through travels, mm -hmm. through Ocala show and whatnot, yeah. inter, uh, uh, networking, um, this whole this whole area should be filled with transits right now. Right. I should have a hundred transits on the ground. Yeah, I've got maybe fifteen. So yeah, we're we're fighting um, through this. Uh, yeah. We understand. This is a good shot down here. Yeah, Lola. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're we're fighting through it with Ford. This computer chip thing is real. Yeah. Um, I'm a hillbilly in Indiana. I'm trying to wrap my head around why I can't get this chassis that I love. We got a lot of people with their orders in. We're doing everything we can. Ford has been shut down for the last six weeks. Um, I see stories on the internet. Uh, YouTube uh, news story the other day that there's a, a raceway in northern Kentucky that's got 1,200 Super Duties that Ford built offline that they're waiting to put the chip in. Yeah, and it's just it's 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 tough. You it's can't so even find one of the. Yeah. We even three weeks ago went to look to buy these from dealers mm -hmm. and just as a test, you know, to protect our our our, the our labor. Don't have a lot of stock. They don't yeah. have a lot, but almost everything out there had the larger fuel tank. Mm -hmm. We use the smaller fuel tank. The larger fuel tank will be for service, running around a lot, plumber oh, truck. Okay, I was going to ask you yep. that. that. So and that's why you don't you have the smaller one. Yep. So, so that's twenty uh, five gallons yep. versus twenty. Or? You're twenty five. I'm twenty five. They're thirty. Yep. Though okay. I think it's even maybe a little 30, bit larger okay. than that. Mm -hmm. So we said, well, why not buy these? We had fifteen, twenty allotted, tracked mm -hmm. down uh, east of the Rockies and the tank, the bigger tank. We would have had to stop production, re-engineer the bracketry, re-engineer oh, some see. fresh water tanks, and we'd yes. have had to been shut down for a couple weeks anyway. Yeah. So we just, I don't like, chop. I want everything to be consistent. Yeah. So your story with the next customer, you can help him, and not every one of these is a prototype coming off the line right. every day um, yeah. and something different. Okay, yeah. cool. Lola, so, awesome shot yeah. right down here. Let's take a look. <laughs> So you these got are all Dodges the, at the end yeah. there. We're going to go down and talk about the Dodge chassis yep. here. And I think we've talked about Mercedes. We've kind of hit a, a lot of things that are out there. Uh, really quickly, so I see a lot of gray, white. I see one down here. <laughs> you probably know one. I that's see one, right. one down here that's a dark gray. Yep, this is called magnetic. Magnetic. Okay. And this is what we had 
Uh, we started out with a color called blue jeans. So this is a uh, 2020. Blue jeans. <laughs> yep. That's 2021. This is 2021. Yep. Okay. Um, that Dodge Charger was the color of blue jeans that I we started with. I didn't it's order navy. that. Yep. Navy blue jeans color. Then we transitioned to um, magnetic. Okay. This is a 2020 chassis though. Oh, pardon me. It is 2020. Yep. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Yeah. So. See, um, I could tell from the. This yep, is now. Yep. And it's got a plastic bumper. Yep. Yeah. Now, one thing about chassis colors, and I get asked all the time, can I get a yellow one, a red one, a green mm -hmm. one? I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> um, we need to make sure that we can get any chassis available and make it simplest as possible on our manufacturers. So, why do we use white and gray, and why don't you see black and graphite consistently mm -hmm. on my lot? When we were learning how to build Class Bs, we were paranoid, we wanted to know everything. There wasn't a mm -hmm. stone, we wanted to know everything. Mm -hmm. So in my desk, I got a, a nice heat gun. And here in August, if I were to go to a black Mercedes chassis mm -hmm. in August, uh, here in Indiana, you'd be about 135, 140 okay. skin temperature. Then you would go to a silver, like a magnetic silver for mm -hmm. Mercedes, and you'd drop down to 115, Yeah, better. And then yeah. you'd go to a Big white. Difference. Yeah. 105. Yeah. Florida, most vehicles that folks buy are white. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Unless yep. you've got like a nice garage. So here's what I would say about it. Like, I think I agree with people looking for colors, but I understand from your point of view how that's dealt with. It would be nice to see lighter powder colors, yep. you know? Yeah, we were just like, talking about Yeah, some... like some stealth grays yep. or blues. Yep. Um, even some whites that yep. are kind of like a little bit off white kind of stuff. Great point about your your matte colors and some mm -hmm. of the more muted colors. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of last year, Mercedes ran out of metallic silver fleck, mm -hmm. the fleck in their metallic silver paint. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about the graphite gray chassis mm -hmm. and Mercedes that we were just next yeah. to. We had to substitute those. So we took a look at them and said, you know, they're beautiful vans, but I think we can do something here. And that's kind of where we created a stealth package mm -hmm. where we keep the OEM rims on. Mm -hmm. We send those out for paint at Gurley Leap, which is a certified Mercedes dealership uh, okay. in a couple towns over. Okay. Um, we don't paint the front bumper, the side cladding, mm -hmm. or the rear bumper. Um, and we call it a stealth package, and we're going to build on it a little bit. Yeah, it looks more like a yep. cargo van, a yep. work van. A I like aggressive. that idea, yep. yeah. Yep. So yeah. you're going to see us play on this um, a little bit, and it's an option. Yeah. Uh, we know we're still going to have those older Mercedes customers that want the nice right. body painted with the chrome yeah. rims. Hey, that's how that's what got that's us. That's for the here. younger dudes. Yeah. That's, yeah. I that's, mean, if, that, if I could call myself younger. That's what we get, you know, yeah. that's what got us here. Now we just want to yeah. spice it up a little bit, more aggressive. And it's funny because we were talking, we're great with 55 and older demographic. Mm -hmm. And it's funny these and I love you guys, all you mm -hmm. older guys, and mm -hmm. you know who I'm talking about, Les right, right. Hobson and all you yeah. guys. Listen, you I'm, know, I'm, I'm close to 50, I'm 49. I'm yeah. 48, but I'm yeah. not rushing me and you yet. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you know, Nick, can you just maybe make it a little bit more aggressive? And I get it, I get it. They, they're retired, this is their toy. Mm -hmm. And this is this is an expression and a mm -hmm. reflection of them. Yeah. Um, so I, I totally get it. And we're listening and we're working on it. Yeah. So let's go take a look yeah. at Dodge. Uh, we, we can't go in these, right? These are not open here, oh, are they? Go, yeah, oh, we can, can we just show real quick? Yeah. Just real quick uh, before we before we walk down there. Probably a cool shot right here. Okay, yeah. Rear. Yeah. So you could even, yeah, let's just show that, Lola. That just so that smell. we, so the reason why I'm doing this is that when I look at the when I look at your video uh, the videos the other folks are doing I would always like to see how the inside looks yep. if you come in Lola yep. because I'm thinking what if I've got to change something what's behind there so here you go you guys can pause this yep. get some good look arounds I'm gonna take some pictures even we take the D rings out we take the LED lights out now if you don't mind Lola I'm gonna jump up in here we have to pass Q VM audits from Dodge, Ford, and Mercedes. So maybe right here where we've got a Truma vent on occasion, or right here where we've got some water controls, Ford will say, leave this intact here, but you can cut this. Okay. And they've tested it, engineering's tested it. Mm -hmm. So they give us some liberties, but we've always got to stay compliant. Um, yeah. On the floor, one thing we do do is since we put uh, storage up mm -hmm. above, we will, you'll see this in the production line, we'll cut the headliner, pull it back, 
And since the Ford's got such a big forehead, mm -hmm. we put some heat mitigation materials right. up front that Ford did okay, not do. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so do you guys remove this big uh, styrofoam piece? Yeah. This is yep. still, we take uh, those out. Okay. And then we recover them. Those okay. are hiding airbags. Mm -hmm. Ford's done a phenomenal job with the chassis, both in safety and in tech. Mm -hmm. And again, optional seat covers. We'll show you that in the plant. Yeah, it's good to see. The, the other day I was talking to uh, Nick from Sunshine State. And he was saying, you know, you have to think about the floor plans because of the dually, you've got these two big pumps here. Yep. And that's definitely a part of that conversation, yep. right? And, so. you know, speaking of duallys, at the beginning when we were deciding on Ford, mm -hmm. you know, single axle or dually, single axle or dually, single, I mean. Dually's it, awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you what, um, wind, it helps. Mm -hmm. It widens yes. your stance. Yeah. Um, stopping starting, it gives mm -hmm. you more of a platform to start. Yeah, Stop you've got more uh, rubber on Hitting the floor. Rubber yeah. meat in the road. Yeah. And, um, you know, if you blow one of your dualies, mm -hmm. you got it. You got, got another, another wheel to limp. just limp you there. And yeah. You get, so we had a lot of people saying, you know, what about rocks getting stuck in between the two wheels? Well, I mean, look around, guys. There's dualies <laughs> everywhere. I've not seen that. Yeah. Um, uh, but we're fond of the dualies, and that, you know, that's kind of going to lead us into the Nova yeah. um, on the Dodge platform. Uh, we went away from dualies. Uh, they don't offer it. It's a front wheel drive platform. Mm -hmm. What what makes that in, um, important? We've got the from the front end here. Mm -hmm. We've got the whole bottom to work with, and we don't have the. You don't have this. Let's go. Let's yep. go check one out. Yep. Um, if we can, before we do that, we we'll probably take a look at the Mercedes. If we can, if there's a Mercedes here, we can go into just to show. Like, I'm just trying to get what I don't see in other places. You know, just this, do it. Again, do it a little is, different. This is where it starts. A little different. I, I like the idea of coming out here, and yeah, this this is the first process. This you. is the first step of the process. If we don't get these, there are no yeah. videos. There's, if we don't yeah. get, you know, once we get these, if we don't get showers because of the fiberglass shortage around yeah. here, we're not getting vans. Wire yeah. harnesses are tough right you now. You guys take these hooks out? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we sell them to a, a hardware store and yeah. we got pallets and pallets and pallets. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. This is Mercedes. great. Great to see this. Yeah. Okay. So the Mercedes was over here. Let's check out the four before. I'm like at the Valley of the Transit van. Yeah. Back here. <laughs> Watch this uh, tow hitch here. Let's come up a little forward. Now, Hank okay, and Lola, cool. you'll see something a little different. Big here. difference, yeah. Okay. Now, this is Mercedes German engineering here. Yep. <laughs> Mercedes sends us this floor. We don't. It's just the only way we can buy it. We take all this out. We oh, you do. This okay. On our benches. I mean, we're. This is a good it. floor. Oh, it's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. It just doesn't work for what we're trying to do. Yeah. And again, in certain spots, we're allowed to pop the adhesive, the welded adhesive off, cut these out. But for the mm -hmm. most part, um, you know, we just got done with our all of our QVM stuff for our, our chassis manufacturers. Much bigger chassis. Um, the Ford and the Mercedes. For you folks that aren't six foot tall and built like me, in your 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", you're going to lean to the Ford and the Mercedes. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit narrower, yeah, but a little bit higher Based on the than height. the Dodge. The mm -hmm. Dodge, a little bit more for me. A little bit shorter, but two inches wider mm -hmm. than the Ford and Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And depending on how, how much you're in a Class B, you can instantly kind of feel, oh, I, where did I pick so up So this is wider than the Ford? The Ford and Mercedes same are going to be almost really identical okay. because... Yeah, Ford, that same height yeah. kind of a thing, yep. yeah. But the, the Dodge is going to be a little bit wider yeah. and a little bit shorter. Awesome, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's... Yeah, put, this is let's, the graphite gray yeah. that we were talking it's about. It's a great color. This yeah. is great for doing the stealthy. Yeah. It looks so close to like a prime van, yep. you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now you don't want to you don't want to go stealth and make your your van look like it's got packages in it. <laughs> now let's back up. Um, I remember I didn't get to dig in too far of why we bring in the Dodges without windows. Yeah. Okay. So when we had Beyond going, um, we had the opportunity to engage with quite a few Travato customers. Mm -hmm. You know, Nick, we love our Travato, but we want we love the Ford chassis, or mm -hmm. we love your story, your build, mm -hmm. your cabinets, what whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and we got to engage with them and make some relationships. So. 
we knew with some chassis shortage issues from years prior, we needed we needed to pick up a third chassis. Because right now, this this uh, uh, Promaster chassis is what's the most. It is the number. Really, it, yeah. it is the number one built uh, yeah. chassis. You've on, got tons of them here. Yes, right on yes. the lot. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I would like a lot more though. Yes. Um, <laughs> understood. <laughs> but some things about the Dodge, and, and you know, in hindsight, maybe we were kind of um, I don't know the right word. Maybe we didn't give the Dodge platform the credit. You know, being a when and when we had Beyond going, we were competing against. Mm -hmm. Once we changed the Beyond sales pitch to the Beyond is built on a Ford chassis, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to talk about first mm -hmm. instead of the build. Right. When we changed our training and, and mm -hmm. our engagements with customers to talking about the difference between the Travato mm -hmm. and the, the the Dodge chassis and the Ford, and that's where we ran um, into a lot of people you know we, we were doing the chassis differentiation mm -hmm, well mm -hmm. i needed a third chassis mm -hmm. we didn't give it full credit once we got it in our hand with it being front wheel drive mm -hmm. front wheel drive the dodge gives you a 35 degree turning radius mm -hmm. which you don't get those turning radiuses mm -hmm. with, with, with the dually packages a lot easier than the drive. wheel drive yeah. Yeah. yeah and again we talked about underneath yeah um, a little bit more spot to store yeah generators and other items now yeah. windows so we had those beyond relationships we asked if we're going to build something on a Dodge, we don't want to build a Travato. The Travato is the number one selling B-Van in the country. I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's phenomenal. I would agree with you. Yep. I've, we, I've yep. checked out quite a few. But yeah. we asked, yeah. you know, what, what, what are the three to five things that you'd want to change? Well, we want your insulation story that you have created mm -hmm. with Galleria and, and beyond. And we want the dual pane windows that James and Steph put in on their, oh, yes. their camper. Yes. And they're imported. They're thicker. They're, they've got thickness to it which mm -hmm. builds our value mm -hmm. they articulate out mm -hmm. um, another feature with the inside with ins the inside frame mm -hmm. you've got a garnish that incorporates a blackout but on the blackout it's white on the inside and solar reflective remember down mm -hmm. in Tampa it yeah. was solar reflective on yeah. the outside yeah continuing that heat to mitigation we just talked about how much windows um, yeah so yeah that's why we cut, we, okay. we cut them in we've got a pattern we take uh, um, anti-rust treatment okay um, so you've got some kind of jig you, yep. you stick on to yep. here yep. you cut it out a specific way then you treat it so this will start rusting from there, there there you go pop the windows in so I would say, and I had this conversation with Nick also from Sunshine, we did a video that I don't think anyone did it yet comparing chassis, but from his point of view. And I, I think that this is really popular because the front wheel drive is better than rear wheel drive for different road situations. Absolutely. It's lighter. Yep. And um, I think that, you know, the, the flexibility of what you see in here, so like even what you just said, because you guys were doing this, you didn't want to do it like everyone, you wanted to improve it a little bit, that just adds to more flexibility. Yeah. So if you're looking for like the most flexible floor plans, uh, this is the kind of stuff you want to look at. And if yeah. you love those cabinets that you guys have, which I do, you want to get yep. something like this. And, and right there, what you, what you said. And so just because we're selling a, a customer a Galleria, mm -hmm doesn't mean we say, well, you beyond customer, you can't get the things in the Mercedes. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. And we don't say to the Nova customer, you and the beyond and on the Ford and you and the Mercedes, you're not going to get the stuff in, mm -hmm. in either one of those. Mm -hmm. Our builds are about, I would say, 95% um, you can had con continuity yeah. between all three. Yeah. You're, it, it's our build. Yeah. You select the chassis, you get our build. Yeah. Um, radius cabinet doors, that's one of the difference between Galleria and Nova. Outside of that, we're talking minimal items. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. that's building a lot so of value. So this looks wider when you're yep. looking at yep. it. Yep. Right? Let me Which get it unlocked. Let me get it unlocked real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Open up. Good deal. All right. Yeah. So here we go. Yep. So um. And again, I'm not sure. Is this a 2020 that we're looking at this here? This is 20. Uh, this is going to be a 2021. 2021. Yeah, okay. and you can see Mercedes. I had a lot of height in there. Yeah. But now <laughs> I've got that two inches extra. Yeah. That for some people. By the time you get some floor, a little bit of yep, floor in You're going to lose an inch or two. Add an uh, AC the, garnish yeah, in here. Up here yeah. But you really feel the width. Yeah. Same so, thing. So now, but so we still have um, <coughs> the, the bump outs for the wheels back mm -hmm. here. So that's what I was interested in. We still have those. But, but um, why, why is this like an easier platform for you guys to build on? 
because we've got so much, because right here is the drivetrain, mm -hmm. and we've only so got the, we've yeah. only got the axle. Oh, okay. And we got all. Typically, this is where your dually differential would be, right? Oh, okay. And yeah. now we've got all this room underneath. Okay. To to to, to use. To move around. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. So lots more flexibility in here. Yep. Yeah. Um, are you guys always working on change? like so for example with these there's just so many different floor plans you can get yep. and usefulness are you thinking about that now yep. like I know there's like lots of cool Murphy beds yep. and yep. stuff like that um, you know everything's moving real fast back at home mm -hmm. um, we had real success real good success with the 24a the fixed bed mm -hmm. galleria mm -hmm. and you know we were talking about Nick mm -hmm. um, and, and the guys down south and mm -hmm. I called him up and said you know Class B's have no storage, and it's driving mm -hmm. me nuts. Mm -hmm. I, that's I'm getting my teeth kicked in, <laughs> and um, you know because it's real because we've got so you, many non-class B folks that are used yeah. to camping without storage coming in and going, oh my gosh, where am I? Yeah, gonna you got to change your life. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we did the fixed bed in the Galleria. Yeah. And I, I wanted to get under 55, mm -hmm. maybe a toy hauler. Yeah. You can open stick. up here. Yeah. yeah. And um, lo and behold, we're getting the same age mm -hmm. clientele but mm -hmm. they wanted the storage mm -hmm. so we're looking at, at possibly doing um playing off the 24a right now mm -hmm. the floor plan and a couple other mm -hmm. chassis builds but um right now we got to stay focused and being you know we've got 30 some units over here that are mm -hmm. offline with mm -hmm. short parts we got to make sure our focus on our yeah. finishing those vans the right way yeah. um, before we start doing yeah. anything else. This kind of time is always a bad time to try to do new stuff because you have people waiting on you, yep. you know, and they want to get yep. those things delivered to them. So yep. maybe when we get into an easier time where, yep. you know, it's it's uh, like you've got the room, you've got the room to try to experiment yep. with yep. and mess around. From suppliers and whatnot around here, just all of us talking, we, we hope and feel August September things we should start seeing some normal. I hope so. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it's really so. there's a you know I think that there's there's kind of like a renaissance going on. I don't think it started now. I think it's been going on for a few years with with Class B. Bands. Of course. Yeah. Of course. When you I know. started, in I'm just gonna take some pictures. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, when I started in 2017, um, the Class B segment had gone up 30 percent increase of 30 percent every year mm -hmm. and it's still trending that lola and yeah. this past year it was up i think a hundred percent march over march mm -hmm. and you know last march we thought we didn't know what to do mm -hmm. we didn't know what to do it was shut the plant down mm -hmm. everybody go home we don't know what's going to go on yeah and i think we shipped um five units in april of last year because mm -hmm. Shut no one knew down. what was going to happen, and then um, you know, and I think I think there was some pessimism back there, duly noted. You know, you know, you know, obviously nobody knew what the heck was going on, and I I just think if you cancel your POs to me, mm -hmm. I'm canceling my POs to that guy, and then it goes. We're at all that about, bottleneck right now, and that's we're at that bottleneck. That's why people are noticing everything is in short supply yep. because we've run into that point that caught up to us from March. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know the so, steel steel mm -hmm. segment around here is getting hit pretty hard. Um, you know we're getting these guys that build on these metal these steel chassis that you mm -hmm. see stacked on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're getting slammed with price increases. Oh wow! I feel yeah. really bad for them. Yeah. So once again, tons of. So I know there is some stuff because I talk about it. Which way are we going? Because well, I, I think we. Yeah. Let's we talk. talked about this in my office. So typically yeah. mm -hmm. we store a lot of our our chassis oh. over here. But in this spring, in this field. Yep. Okay. Once spring hits. Mm -hmm. I tell everybody, hey, move them all, get them on pavement. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, a long time ago, we realized that some rodents, mm -hmm. groundhogs, raccoons, and whatnot, likes to chew on our wires. Right now, right. we got three or four vans in waiting for Ford, Dodge, and Mercedes yeah. to come and fix. So, folks at home, if you're storing your van from us in, in your back 40, maybe have some gravel down. Maybe yeah. lay some mothballs down. Maybe ask your Hillbilly uncle, what he would have done around his so garden. So in the summertime, you need to be on on pavements. What you're saying? Well, I, I was spring summer. You know, spring, in summer, winter, I'm not too worried about. But you because know, once the grass once okay. the grass starts coming up, um, yeah. then we want to kind of get that. Good advice. To, yep. And then yeah. you know, that's important for us too, right, Lola? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Now, um, Mercedes. Here's another oh, strange one with Mercedes. Our Galleria customers. Let's not leave our Galleria stationary for six months. Okay, those have Continental tires. The Continental tires 
are, are a very aggressive hard mm -hmm. tire mm -hmm. and they've got they have memory okay so if we leave a Mercedes mm -hmm. here for four or five months mm -hmm. not moving you're gonna get some flat spots yeah and all you want to do once every 30 40 days move it move it or my wife at home we're moving right now and I just stumbled across her gardening uh, wagon she's got these um, wrestling mat knee pad things mm -hmm. and they're shaped like that mm -hmm. so what I would do is put one under one uh, wheel one under the other drive it up, up and just top. that cushion just that little bit of cushion yeah we'll, we'll, so we've yeah. learned a lot we've yeah. learned a lot just some maintenance stuff so you were saying that to get the wiring looms through it's they coat it in coconut oil yeah they, they dip the vehicles? they dip the the loom material the snake material that houses the wiring they, they dip it with coke they dip it in coconut oil so when they're pulling the wire through You've got lubrication to really get those. Is that every vehicle, or does that depend Mercedes, on what country? Mercedes, we know it's coconut oil. So Mercedes. I don't know if I don't. Know I know if there's stuff that that the creatures like to eat because we have that problem in Florida, and I'm like, what are they making this stuff of that yep. these creatures want to eat this? We got two creatures right now. Mm -hmm. We got those, mm -hmm. and then we got another set of creatures, and those are the locals around here who are coming and stealing catalytic converters off my vans yeah, and other that. chassis, and. and and we'll, yeah. we'll figure those guys out. We'll find yeah. them. There's a lot of stuff going we'll on like that. Okay, yeah. very Chassis good. Galores, we got a bunch of Dodges coming in. Dodges doing a great job. Mm -hmm. um, we got some Novas over there staged where they're waiting for some parts. It looks like possibly running boards maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but those should be shipping soon for those who are going to be tuning in. Yeah. Uh, they're coming down, guys. They're coming down. Yeah. Good to see that there's still uh, work going on oh, yeah. around here. Yeah. <laughs> the number one goal is to keep our plant and our, yeah. our plant's families working. And what so, we'll do is take a little walk down. Yeah, we're gonna water. we're gonna probably uh, we're gonna probably uh, cut here, Perfect. and then we're gonna start over at the factory. Now that in this section, you guys have seen what comes in, uh, what considerations these guys have to take on based on the three chassis. Now we're gonna go in there and see how they build them. I'm excited. Absolutely. Yeah. So now, right now, we're in between plant uh, 225 and plant seven. This was our original plant. We picked this up about two years ago. Basically, everything non-electrical, chassis prep, under uh, undermounted brackets, battery brackets, water tanks, gets done in seven. We've got uh, lifts in there, and okay. then we move them over into five. And then there you can see, now we've got the windows in the back end of the uh, graphite gray Mercedes, and right. you can see the split in the windows so we can get some air some in. Some air moving in there. <laughs> Yeah. Now we've got vans staged for parts. We're okay, so these are these can't go any further until nope. they get some parts in them. They're okay. almost done. They're all 90% done. Okay. Um, we've got we're buying extra, so we're having issues getting stuff. So we're buying what extra. Are these? these are our gray tanks, our freshwater tanks. tanks, our battery okay. trays, our LP hangers. Um, really stocking up on them okay. um, to make sure that we don't. You've run got out. everything you need. Yep. Okay. Um, we're willing to spend a couple bucks extra there to keep to make sure yeah. we've got the product. Yeah. Um, over here, this is something pretty cool. If you guys don't mind. Yeah. Come on in. So. Oh, look at that back there. Yeah. You're both uh, car gurus. Right. And we get these chassis every year. There is a new model. Mm-hmm. So this is an old Mercedes. I think this is a 2019 Mercedes. Okay. And there's a 2021 Dodge. Okay. And what we do here is this is this is exactly what they s send us. We didn't okay. anticipate a motor wheels or anything else. Okay. And what we do is we do pull tests. Oh. For seats and whatnot. Yeah. And Can you fit? Can you? Well, no. It, oh. What we do is we bolt we oh. bolt through okay. and then we hook it hook up to a hydraulic pull oh. and we try to rip this. We try to make this into a sardine can and peel it up. Oh, uh, I we see. just had a, a, a pull test not too long ago plant manager did an amazing job. A couple other guys said, there's no way with your design, you're gonna pass this pull test. Um, it was amazing, mm -hmm. it was amazing. I can kind of show you what mm -hmm. a pull test looks like here. So, what, so what's the pull test telling you at the end? That, that if this van at this, at, at uh, 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 55 miles per hour within mm -hmm. 20 feet, if it stops and gets in an accident, that seat will hold that it person hold, and right. it passes uh, it won't rip out DOT. Of, yeah. Yes, I get it. Okay, and then, very you know, cool. then we can come over here and mm -hmm. instead of chopping into the side of a brand new chassis, mm -hmm. if we're trying to test Figure this that up, out, yeah. it's it's just a blank canvas. Very cool, course, yeah. okay. Yeah, so this is where we do limited pull testing. Uh, looks like we're um, maybe taking a look at a hitch here. Um, 
and we pull test seats. You see some cutaway chassis over here, mm -hmm. and then we'll hook the chains up, and they'll test to see how much pressure um, these seats and the fastening system needs to that they can handle. Yep, yep. Uh, Nits a Nitsa commitment. Mm -hmm. Here's where we do a lot of prototyping. Uh, we get the big Pearson lift up. Get all the team can get under the van, and mm. how are we routing this wire? How are we routing this? Okay, wire? cool. Yep. Testing LP tanks. There's a body in white for the Class Cs. We got chassis frames. Testing material. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then right. so you're not just slapping everything together here. That's, yeah, they got okay. a lot of nits of commit. A lot of oh, field okay. Tech. You know, there's a lot of obligations. So on your end, you still have to fulfill those. Yes, MSVS. S, I mean, all kinds of standards. Okay. And then as we come through here. Gentlemen, put in our second alternator. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can see the Balmar charger right here. They're filling up the fluid, get the fluid back in. Okay, so if someone says there's a second alternator, yep. Because I know there is and there isn't. Like some people aren't going to that yep. now. They just have a bigger, yep. beefier we alternator. Use second alternator. Use second yep. Alternator. And that's all approved for. And that's on the yeah. on the RAM or the RAM all three. Or everything. Yep. Okay. All three. If you're lithium packaged. If you're lithium packaged. Okay. Yep. Cool. So the telltale sign is this charge. Yep. This thing. You got that. You got Li3 stickers on the side, okay. or if you've got the big battery that we saw in the video in the okay. back. But I just That's wanted cool. to make sure we got this part. Yeah, very, yeah. we're being very thorough. But yeah. I uh, enjoy that. Uh, substrate heat, heat, uh, heat lamp testing to see if we can get anything to delam. Oh, okay. You know, just kind of our little breakage. We got that makes sense. Boards, dodge. Yeah. Got some toilets, I think. Yep. These toilets, yeah. toilets stored outside. Got all our bike racks, ladders. Got some air conditioner overflow. So I kind of, I really like how Hank and Lola wanted to lay out this video. It's a little different. Usually we always start it on the line, but. You know, you got to have, like I said, you got to have the chassis to build. Now we got to have the parts yeah. to build once we get the chassis. Right. So this is what we call our warehouse. Um, we're storing vinyl. We bought extra vinyl that we want to keep around. What, where does this go? Okay, so this material here is our wall material. Okay, yeah, okay. this is what we see on the yep. wall. And this is Nova Beyond Galleria. We don't use a different one for Galleria. We don't use a lesser one for Nova. PVC, marine grade will not rot, will not mold. Mm -hmm. um, you see a lot of ABS now mm -hmm. inside. Winnebago does a lot mm -hmm. of ABS. ABS is nice, it's very automotive, but it's very acoustic. Mm -hmm. you're, you're creating some drums yeah. inside. It's, it's not noise. absorbing or it's, it's not absorbing. Yeah. Okay. Also, you got a 3 8 inch uh, foam oh, backer here. That. Oh, okay. Yep. So when we get further into the plant tour, you'll see that if we do a, a flat panel, mm -hmm. we just don't cut the vinyl off the flat mm -hmm. panel. We wrap it so when I'm butting it up against another flat panel, it's, you've got some cushion there, and it's uh, not. Yeah, it's not rubbing. Yep, okay. So, cool. You know, for you folks that are out in the field, let's say your dog goes crazy in your van and he chews up a, a section of your wall. Mm -hmm. If you live in a town near any airport, they have vinyl repair companies that serve mm -hmm. the airlines. Mm -hmm. Look up Yellow Pages, Google, oh, whatever, okay. and they can come in here, treat it cover it and you don't Make even it look know it's, okay. you don't even know it was ever damaged. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yep. Okay. Um, so the expenses on this is all this stuff going I know there's a lot of different insulation etc here. Are the prices on this going up for you guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, reason why we've got so much rock wool down there is, mm -hmm. is there's an insulation shortage right now. Okay. Um, I, I can't explain that one. It's funny because Everybody around here uses the pink stuff, the mm -hmm. pink Owens Corning fiberglass mm -hmm. that we moved away from back mm -hmm. in 17. Mm -hmm. It just didn't make sense in a B-Man. Yeah. And we went to Rockwell, okay? And then um, I get these GMs calling and they're like, you know, we called your purchasing agent. She says you're not having an insulation shortage issue. Mm -hmm. I'm like, right, we use Rockwell. And they're like, oh, so this is the alternative yeah. that we're having to use for $60 yeah. extra. I'm like, look, I wholeheartedly believe in this product, right. um, especially where, where insulation is used in a lot of RVs is in the, in the roof. Yeah. So when you have 
roof, water, water roof. Yes, things um, can rock get wool. in. Yeah. Rock wool, it do, it, water I think doesn't if, affect it. I think there's gonna, there, if there's anything going on with that is the high demand, because now when I look at everything, lots more people using yep, that. Yep, yep. <laughs> so obviously the demand is going yep. up on that. That's like the industry, like the industry standard from what I see. Yep. Okay, I see microwaves. microwaves. Nova Cool, they're keeping up. They're doing very good. They're a Canadian manufacturer. They've got their problems up north. This is the refrigerator. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, we love the Nova Cool 12 volt refrigerator product. Mm -hmm. um, got some shower doors. Okay. Got to keep our, we don't use a lot of wood, but this is all for our floor, all okay. for our floors. Looks like a uh, foam. Yep. Yeah. Um, we have a, we have two furniture suppliers now. We've got one for what I call our padded goods, mm -hmm. non-mechanical goods. And, um, you know, we made this switch to Q foam and it's been a pretty good switch. And um, so we're making sure our supplier has months and months worth of Q foam. Hey, you can ship me a delivery early. You just make sure you got tons of this foam that we need. Is the Q foam like a memory foam or? It's, well, memory foam, I made this mistake in my last job. I mm -hmm. put in memory foam mattresses. Mm -hmm. And while it's great at home or Florida or Indiana, mm -hmm. um, when these memory foam mattress equipped fifth wheels went to Alberta, mm -hmm. I didn't know that memory foam can freeze mm -hmm. if it gets to a certain temperature mm -hmm. and you can pretty much take a hammer and shatter it. Oh. So oh. we were getting, when we did memory foam previously in cold climates, customers would sit down on the memory foam, oh, this is real hard, Nick. Mm -hmm. Okay, let the, let the furnace warm it up. That, no customer wants mm -hmm. to hear that. You no. know, they want, so we, yeah. we did some investigating. I searched this foam out. Mm -hmm. It's not memory foam, it's automotive. And we're getting, you know, one thing my sales manager Tommy mentioned at Tampa show, mm -hmm. they all thought I was crazy for this Q mm -hmm. foam. And, and I said, look, it's gonna cost 300 yeah. bucks extra. So this is not retaining the moisture then, because that's what will be freezing. Right. So right. this is, yep. uh, is able to get rid of that yep. moisture. Yeah, okay. I didn't believe them that it didn't freeze, and we got okay. a refrigerator and a freezer in the, okay. uh, for the guys, so I had, uh -huh. I took all their stuff out, I threw the Q foam in, and, cool. and it didn't freeze. So. Yeah, look at this, Lola. Tons of air conditioners yep. here. Yep. Now, we, um, so Medic, right. we don't use the Medic. You don't use these anymore. We, you okay. might have seen when, we, when Lola was panning mm -hmm. in the back um, some rentals. Mm -hmm. We have a handful of rentals, and we they like the Dometic oh, AC. This is for the rental. Yep. So you guys make those rentals. Yep, the, the ones with the graphics. Okay. Yep. I see. All right. Watch, cool. Watch All right. Because the I know that that's a big question when I look at the community stuff. Everyone's talking about what air conditioner you have. Yep. Because people always ask me, oh, do you have the XY twenty five Z? And I'm like, I don't know. No, air it keeps me cool. <laughs> I started a big problem when I started. Uh, really doing a deep dive into air conditioners and it wasn't anything other than customers saying it would be nice if I could do this and mm -hmm. one of the most common items that I heard was Nick we have a 24 foot 2 inch Galleria we're in South Texas it is hot the chassis air is not doing the job mm -hmm. um, I don't want to turn on my air because then I'm using my fuel fuel for my mm -hmm. generator mm -hmm. it's all counterproductive I, if I need to I'll run my AC through the generator, but then I gotta fill up before I even go camping. Mm -hmm. So how do we address that? That doesn't make sense. I know we can figure something mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Hence, that's where the 12 volt air conditioner, it didn't come in for lithium. Okay. Everybody thinks oh. it's part of a lith. No, it right. was for the standard user to be able to go down the road and be able to use that um, 12 volt air conditioner okay. Uh, without using the generator. Okay. And um, so now everyone's trying to actually do that, me included. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, we're naughty, Nick. No, naughty. I know. So we had Pro Air for 12 volt. We're uh -huh. we're using Premier now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting really good reports from Premier. Mm -hmm. um, and then we use the Coleman Mach 10. And and okay. you know we're always we're always searching for the best product for our yeah. build. And that might change in the future. It might not. So yeah. not not quite sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, you'll see some new shades from us okay. uh, in past videos, whomever you've, uh, whomever's been through here, mm -hmm. I've said uh, hundreds of times, I just haven't found my favorite shade. Okay. And this Automotion shade's a really good shade. It's more so for the back end. Mm -hmm. um, yours is a rear bath. Mm -hmm. You don't have the problem with um, the wide rear of the D and the mm -hmm. C getting cattywampus, if mm -hmm. I can say that. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a narrower track. Right. Um, okay. So, that's why we changed that. Oh, I see. Okay, yep. so we'll see some of those inside the vents. Yep. So are these pre-routed panels? Yep. All this came have? from the CNC shop. Okay. These are going to be uh, base uh, uh, 
underneath your beds. Mm -hmm. So this is the material that's going to be underneath your Oh, okay, yep. cool. All right. Yep, we've got more shade, window garnishes, okay, so tower this, top. This is what goes in when you cut out the window. Mm -hmm. So you, you treat the paint and you pop those in, yep. all right? Okay. Cubby, cubby um, garnishes. Okay. Uh, we talked about seat recovers out in the lot, in the storage lot. Mm -hmm. So this is how they come to us. Okay. All right. And this is going to go over the seat pedestal base. This is going to go over an armrest, obviously. Okay. Now, so why are you, so this is not like a leather anymore. What's the reason that everyone's going away from the leather? Well, the, I, I don't think there's a really good leather package in, in the in the Ford or, mm -hmm. or it's only black in the Mercedes. Okay? Right, right. And people do like to have color continuity throughout their van. Yes. I, I really like this new material. It's got a little bit of a, a wax mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, don't laugh at me. Mm -hmm. So one thing <laughs> in my previous life, shiny leather was uh -huh. a big deal. Right. Theater seats. Mm -hmm. And me and you and Lola would be sitting there and I'd be trying to slipping. sell you a fifth wheel. Yeah, slipping off. Yep. And I'm sinking down and then we, me and you get back on level I and then we, yeah. and we're sitting there going, you know, just a little, just something to grab my yeah, some um, traction yep. for the, so for the buttocks. That's kind of what we yeah. did this year. Just a little, yeah. just a, not a, a little, a little yep. texture. Yep. Okay, cool. It's, this it feels cool. good. Yep. It feels good. That's one thing I know. It does have a good feeling. So, and I, I guess this is easier to deal with. So yep. same situation. If you cut this or something, you can repair that too. Okay. Common question. What if I, I see this happen almost every show I go in a salesman, a retail salesman has a pen in his pocket and he sits down in my van. And he gets back up and he leaves something there that wasn't there before and that nobody mm -hmm. in my plant did, and it's a little ballpoint pen mark. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? Especially cashmere, okay? Mm -hmm. So first things first, remember the old days of the baby diaper, mm -hmm. the cloth baby diaper. Mm -hmm. Get something of that, maybe a microfiber cloth, yeah. but clean, Okay. not used. Mm -hmm. 409. You press on it, get the stain up, don't just dive in and start moving okay. it. And just d keep dabbing it, dabbing it. Get if, it to transfer yep. into that. Yep, okay. and if that doesn't work, isopropyl alcohol, you know, if, let's say we had a shot glass of isopropyl alcohol, mm -hmm. maybe about that much water, mm -hmm. and then do the same thing. And then you can kind of start seeing that come off if it's, okay. it's aggressive. Uh, the other day we had a service unit in here. Um, one of my guys from the line came in, had grease on his arm. The headrest had it all over. I about lost it. Um, mm. um, and isopropyl alcohol, my QC girl came over and says, boss, don't worry about it. We, we, we can handle this. And okay. Couldn't even see. <laughs> now watch yourself go ahead. through here. Follow through. Okay, so this looks like where like windows have been cut yeah. out. Yep. So from the, from the chassis lot, mm -hmm. we start staging the day's chassis we're going to build. We do yeah. five a day. Sitting outside. This is the first one in. What the guys do, take the, the Tyvek mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. and they've already taken out the Mercedes seats. Mm -hmm. They bring them over here, mm -hmm. place them down. We've got two people that work this station. Mm -hmm. They turn on their steamer. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, and they sit and wrestle with these seats for about yeah, 15, 20 in. minutes. Yeah, yep. Them. They take off yeah. the complete. I see OEM this is traction skin. Yep. For me into yep. Here. Yeah. They take off the uh, OEM seat and mm -hmm. then down to the bare bones and then they steam and put on our cashmere fog or onyx um, on seats. Really, you know, we used to have a company that did this mm -hmm. and it would take them a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we bring in these two guys, they can do Get it about done right here. 10 a day. So this right is here. the first step. Yep, first okay. step. Cool. First step. Yeah. And again, the window's out. Here we go, uh, we got our awnings, Carefree Colorado awnings. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing these are four by fours because they're lifted. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, Carefree. Oh, gonna, these are the awnings yep, here, yeah. Good job trying to keep up. They face their challenges. Mm -hmm. Cummins. So one of the big things this year, was it this year? No, it would have been. Last year, probably. It would have. No, it would have been maybe early this year. Okay. Onan came out with a quiet generator. Oh, yes, yes. Okay? Yeah. And everybody wants a quiet generator. Everybody wants a quiet generator. Onan's been mm -hmm. talking about the quiet generator. They delayed the release a little bit. Now I can't get generators. Oh. Uh. Can't get them because there's a casing inside there that they can't get from their supplier. Oh. So we've got all these 
you know, we've got a 1,300 unit backlog right now. It's 60% of that backlog is retail sold. Mm -hmm. So anything stock, what we're having to do, Lola, is delete the generator, which cost I think under two thousand mm -hmm. dollars for me, and then add in a lithium system because we oh, got all the batteries. Yeah. So we're adding in a twenty thousand dollar plus lithium yeah. system to the stock unsold yeah. inventory that's yeah. going down to the dealers. But the lithium, so here's my point of view, and I have a generator, yep. and I don't know if it's one of the new quiet generators or not. I really, I could probably find a picture and look at it and tell. I'm not sure what makes it quiet. I know mine is quiet. Yep. I don't know if these are more quiet, but if I was gonna do this again, I would go lithium yep. anyway, yep. because you don't have to put on a generator, yep. you can run a whole bunch of other yep. stuff and be more quote unquote stealth. And you know, it's going to be more expensive, though, on course. the end of that yeah, for of someone course. to buy. Um, yeah. 20, end of 19, beginning of 2020, we saw we were at about a 30% take rate for our mm -hmm. lithium system. Mm -hmm. um, it's 60% now. Yeah. And our lithium system was new. Mm -hmm. It was um, We felt we made the right relationships with Xantrex and Lithionics. Mm -hmm. And I knew we were heading the right way early on when mm -hmm. we had a road track customer mm -hmm. that caught on to us in chat rooms and was absolutely impressed with what we did with our lithium. I mm -hmm. knew we had the groundwork. It's just, okay, mm -hmm. where are we going to build up? Yeah. And we, we've made some modifications. We've, we've been through some generations, revisions. And today, there might be a, a lithium system or two out there that can charge faster than us, but the battery chemistry, the simplicity of our system, um, who it's made by, who uses our battery, the U.S. military mm -hmm. uses our battery, Tesla, mm -hmm. according to Lithionics, mm -hmm. um, while there's no Lithionics batteries in a Tesla, mm -hmm. the Lithionics batteries are in the robots that Tesla um, okay. has in their plants to power wow. their plants. They yeah. can charge faster, they can work yeah. longer. Uh, Disney is a mm -hmm. huge Lithionics consumer. Yeah. Um, Disney has So these a, are things running and recharging all yeah, the time. Yeah, the, you know, Disney, for instance, mm -hmm. they've got these little floats mm -hmm. that run around at the end of the day mm -hmm. for families. Mm -hmm. And they would make $250,000 a day at the five o'clock mm -hmm. float parade, whether it's SpongeBob. Yeah, we used to do that with yep. the boys, remember? SpongeBob or Tron or whatever. Yeah, there's fireworks, yep. Yep. everything. So they made love 250 that grand. Yeah. Guy goes, who runs the, the show there, um, that did the parade, goes, you know, I'd, I'd like to run this parade five times a day. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't, we can't charge them up. Mm -hmm. Lithionics comes in. Well, we got mm -hmm. a battery now that can charge super quick mm -hmm. and then real quick delivery okay. and then real quick charge. So okay. now they're running these five times a day, making five times two hundred fifty. That's what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Making yeah. the kids happy. So the so the so the new super quiet generators are the QG twenty eight hundred I. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Yep. That's just fine. for anyone who wants yep. to know, the nerdy folks out yep. there like me. Yep. The I is a big deal. And, yeah. And from your generator to this, you're gonna you're gonna notice some decibel It's even difference. more quieter. Yeah. Okay. Because people yep. say mine's quiet. But Maybe. this is even more. Let me I don't think check. I have a 2800i though. So you're familiar with the guys down in Gainesville, yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I got a call from their servant from from the service manager. Mm -hmm. A new van just shipped down. The first one with the quiet generator. Mm -hmm. And Billy calls me. Mm -hmm. I think it was Billy or Matt. I can't oh, Billy. remember. Yeah. And Billy goes, you know, I can't yeah. believe you'd, you'd send this down here. Uh huh. I was like, what's wrong, Billy? He goes, it, the generator doesn't work. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. You know, I was having one of those days that anything was going to happen, it right. was going to be that day. And I was like, you know, I was in that van, we checked it, Craig was in there, John was in there. It's like, no, you're, no, no, no. It's running, you just can't hear it. Uh -huh. And he goes, I thought you were really uh, embellishing on this generator, how quiet mm -hmm. it is. It's real quiet, so. Um, yeah, I think I've heard Nick tell that story, and I was yeah. like, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I guess. You're confirming that yeah. story here. So I had a okay. lawn mowing company when I was, you know, I'd pull it behind my bicycle in high school. Uh -huh. I used my mom's snapper mower. Uh -huh. The snapper sounded like a bunch of bolts in a coffee can okay. when it was running. Yeah. But her old lawn mower, or her new lawn mower, after I burned up the snapper, was a lawn boy. And that thing just... So I, I compare it to a snapper, the old, to a lawn boy, to, to the new. Yes. Okay. Let's see, let's keep going. I'll yep. look and see which one I have. LP, yep, we've got LP tanks. Um, all of our vans will have LP. Um, your LP, when a full LP tank is charged, you get 20%, pardon me, you get 80% of the volume of the tank. So if you're gonna get 10 gallons out of the tank, okay, it's a 10 gallon tank, you're gonna have eight gallons because you've yeah. gotta provide space, space for air right. to, to force that um, mm -hmm. out. This is a cool area that I like always touching on. Oh, yes. 
I've seen this in the videos from yep. like Camping Coasty, yep, yep. but not with my own eyes. Yep. So this is, you guys are putting, how thick is the floor? This is 5 8 Okay. Yep. 5 8 wow. non-tongue and groove. This is yeah. marine grade. So that's like as thick as my finger. Yeah. And, you know, these vans flex. Right. These vans they flex. Do. We need some continuity yeah. on the bottom. Right. Mo a lot of our manufacturers, some are changing a little bit. Some are going to composites. Um, some are still using 4x8 four, uh, four sheet of tongue and, tongue and groove. Okay. Well, we're in a van, going down the road, we go off-road, we hit all kinds of debris, yeah. that four by, that, that uh, tongue and groove is going to pop, it's just yeah. going to pop, and then you got a seam down the middle. Yeah. And then most everybody uses OSB, we use, um, pardon me, most everybody uses plywood, um, we use marine grade OSB. Yeah, so this looks like it's got a cross pattern, if yep. I'm, yep. just tell yep. me if I'm wrong here. Watch out. So that makes it stronger, yep. right? Because it's go, kind of yep. going like a weave, yes, like sir. carbon fiber. Yep. Oh, cool. And it's got a treatment on it, a wax treatment. It's oh. marine grade. Oh, wow. It's okay. marine grade. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Yep. And so what, 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 so this can handle all the torquing and flexing. Yep. And we okay. got a good foundation, one piece foundation yeah. for all the cabinets mm -hmm. to get screwed down into. Right. Um, nothing's going to pull up there, nothing's going to pull up there, nothing, right. not individual. And so then, so then over that, this is going, and what is this stuff? This is linoleum. This, this is, is your linoleum. basic uh, linoleum. Yeah. Um, you can so find this at Menards. This it doesn't come from Menards, but it comes from a local supplier. But what you see here, guys, is some manufacturers, what they'll do, let's see how I can show you this. All right, let's, let's do this. Okay. Some manufacturers, and I don't understand why, this is cut out to the exact cutout of the floor. Mm -hmm. So if water spills here, it's not going right into here. Okay, we got the cutouts for the wheel wells. Um, so we lino front to back, left to right. Some manufacturers will lino just the hallway and set the cabinet just on about an inch of the lino. But when you pick up the base cabinet, all you see is raw wood. So mm. we lino left. If there's ever water intrusion, if somebody what's leaves, so what's lino again? Linoleum. Oh, lino, okay. Yep, yep. So, so <laughs> okay. This part, you're like you're like military speak no, here with that. Right. <laughs> so right okay. here, let's say let's mm. say there was a cabinet right here. Yeah. I'm finding a lot of manufacturers wanting to spend. It's ending. Yeah. Like right. As soon they as stop the vinyl, and yes. then now you got your bare floor. Mm -hmm. So we lino left left to right, front to back. And I could say because I've seen you say it in videos. You know how you're watching these videos. Like, is that real? Yeah, ask Lola if I spill stuff on that yeah, floor all the yeah, time. It happens, you know, we've got people that um, are do. learning how to fill their fresh tank, learning how to fill the shower miser, there's some yeah. mistakes happening. Yeah, um, or well, just slobs. Yeah, well, <laughs> like let's, let's call mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, that, uh -huh. that goes back to the importance of the walkthrough when you're buying a product of ours. Right. Make sure you're getting a walkthrough, folks. It is the most important thing. Bring a camera, bring a Polaroid, bring, I don't care what you bring, Bring something to do a video. take that information from the person at the dealership. If you don't, don't leave there without all the information you want because that leads to a lot of problems. Okay, mm -hmm. um, you know when we're not, even me, when I'm not uh, up to date on something, I'm in the dark on something. I'm going to yeah. mess something up. Yeah, we so, all do that. Yep, yep. Yeah. So that those. This is really cool. I know it seems like you're saying like to someone looking at it, it seems like that's no big deal. Oh, it's a big deal. It actually is a big, big deal. deal. Yeah, I think it is a yep. big deal. And there's so. another part to this that I think is is just as big a deal or more that yeah. we'll walk right and into. And doing this, obviously, so this is coming somewhere in like the second step. Yep. Basically, yep. that yep. that's going in. Okay. So. And every single every van's going in like that. Yep. Oh, there so we go. Let me get check oh, that out. Well. This goes, right, let's go this way. So here we can, you see that Lola? Here's that one piece going in here. And then there'll be a cutout for the lino. Linoleum. Yeah, linoleum. It's lino now. Yeah, I'm gonna call lino. it lino. All right, here so we go. <laughs> what are we doing back here? Mm -hmm. So we talked about the linoleum and, mm -hmm. the, and, the, and the one piece. Um, and that's very OSB. reflective. I can see that's bouncing yep. light on your yep. face. So underneath here, yeah. Um, you've got the truck, a truck bed. Yeah. Just right, look at Lola? his face for a second, Lola. Look. Yeah, look at that. It's kind of like. Uh, yeah, just to show people. Right see how light? much light that's do bouncing. The, do you see the circles in my eyes? Like. No, this is what we would do if you were in a movie. No, I know. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a truck bed. So you got uh -huh. the high spot, low spot, high spot, low spot. We yeah. figure out in the, in the right. chassis yard. Right. What some manufacturers do is they go through and level out the floor. And right. I don't quite understand that. What I mean by level out the floor 
in the low spots, okay. they'll put a furring strip, piece of plywood, whatever, okay. put Sika Flex, an adhesive, and run screws now. Those screws are only going to vibrate back up. So in whatever grooves that yep. are in there. I, we float, yeah, so I have seen people building like that. the floor. Okay. So we don't put anything in those low points. But what we yeah. do mm -hmm. is we put this down. This is underneath. Under this. Yep. Okay. The whole way. And okay. what is this? This is a composite. R2. Sound deadener. Will not absorb any moisture. Will not rot, mold, so etc. When you put it in, is it reflective side up like yep. this? Yep. Because okay. aluminum. Uh -huh. And metal, we don't want touch it. You, okay. It's still, it's, Copy it's, that. it's yes. We're putting a, a reflector on top of an insulator. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is this is laminated to this mm -hmm. composite. This is an R38 reflective mm -hmm. um, material. It's very prevalent in how attics and houses right. down in, in your area in Texas. Yes. So what's going to be the hottest thing you're encountering when you pull up to your campsite? I already know the answer to this one. Downstairs. Because I've seen you. Yeah, the floor. Yeah, the floor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it happens like in our house, for example, we've got big uh, concrete slabs underneath. Yep. So overnight it absorbs the cold. Yep. So even in the morning when the sun is up, it's the radiating cold. Yep. But at night it's radiating yep. heat because it absorbs yep. the heat all day. And then once you get over, you're casting the shadow. That temperature is yes. decreasing. Now yes. we've got to focus up top. Right. So I showed you this. Mm -hmm. So composite R38. All right, I'm getting old. Yeah. All I right, need a boost so up now, there. <laughs> okay, Lola, don't film this. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so now, uh -huh. um, you want to come up? Okay. It seems as though everything is getting thinner and thinner in chassis bodies. Right. And you get in well, between is, these yeah. two headers, you get. This is the roof that this comes with? Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You, you, Here, you, let me uh, show this. Do you think? The light's coming right through to me. Yeah, sorry. So just so, so you guys can see how thin that is. Again, this is looks, a cargo van, delivery yeah. van that we make into a Class B. Yeah, it looks like we have to change battery here. I know, I was just trying to run it down in because a second. it was going to be long. Yeah. I was just trying to let it keep running. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right. So we're talking about maybe some thin metal here. Right. And with thin metal, you're going to get old school oil canning effect. Doo -doo, yeah. Doo -doo, okay? Mm -hmm. So how do you build strength in something that's very thin? Tensile strength helps. Mm -hmm. So by cozy wrap is something that is in mm -hmm. all of our vans. Mm -hmm. It goes up against the wall, mm -hmm. then rock will over it, but it adds tensile strength and sound deadening capabilities. Okay. So just by adding this, okay? Yeah, it's but, more base now. Yeah, but okay. you can see R38 the R38 reflective Still barrier there. is in and here. And it's pointing up. Yeah, yep. Right. So we talked about the impregnated, you know, that it's got the layer of R38 inside mm -hmm. here. And we've used Cozy Wrap since day one. Mm -hmm. And I went through secondary and tertiary ways to insulate the walls. And, you know, this stuff had been in front of us the whole time. So we met back up with them and really ran a gamut of questions by them. So mm -hmm. last year we had phase change. This year we have Cozy Wrap, and Cozy Wrap goes right against the van mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm. We saw how thin a metal this is. That's mm -hmm. all the heat penetration I want, Hank. Mm -hmm. I want it then reflected out, same way okay. on the sidewall. Right. Then we put rock wall, rock wall over. Rock wool is a rock and um, iron-based insulation, yeah. 2,000 plus degree burn radius or rating, and no water absorption. So. Really good product. It's been and that's going in the walls, right? Yep. Not in the yep. roof. The yep. roof just gets the cozy wrap. Well, cozy right? wrap. This then you'll see pink here too. Oh, and then rock. So wall. cozy wrap, cozy wrap, yep. rock wall yep. over here. On the and side then composite side. underneath. Okay. Um, I believe I talked to you and Lola about this the other day, didn't right. I? Um, we've got yeah. those symbols in my office. Right. And I hit this one symbol that didn't have the hush mat and it was loud and obnoxious, mm -hmm. and then I hit the other one that just had four two-inch pieces of. Uh, Hush map. We got about change 70, the sound. Change the sound. Deaden the yeah. sound. About 75 bucks a wheel well. Um, some manufacturers aren't putting anything there. Mm -hmm. Some manufacturers are taking carpet, flipping it over, spray adhesive, mounting that there. Yeah. Uh, guys, we're in a Mercedes. We're a Class B. Yeah. We're in a full, beautiful Ford, beautiful Dodge. Well, let's right. do it the right way. So, very good. Sound deadening is huge for us. Yeah. Um, how you judge a Class B quality should be built in a Class B all the time, but. Mm -hmm. Also, the quietness of the Class B is important yeah. and, and should be grouped into the quality um, picture. Mm -hmm. And by using items like the hush mat, one piece floor to get the cabinets mounted down all together mm -hmm. secure, the cozy wrap, worrying about heat intrusion from the floor, worrying about heat intrusion from the top. I don't think 
um, that there's any other Class B company, mainstream Class B company, that's put this much time and effort and thought into insulation. And, and we're always striving to improve, always striving to improve. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I see in here before we go yep. out, we'll probably see it in some of the other builds, but I, so I notice you've got some plumbing yep, here. That's our exterior, um, exterior shower yeah. box. And so you have it like, uh, is that glued there? Yep. The reason why I'm asking is like, so obviously you guys are doing this, but if I wanted to have a piece of wood there so I can screw stuff yep. in, because I'm guessing that's what you have to do, right? Yep. So you've got an outside flange mm -hmm. of the shower box that's mm -hmm. screwed here, and mm -hmm. then just for added, we put the Sika Flex. It's an automotive uh, high grade adhesive. Oh, okay. Yep. All right, cool. Just, yep. you know, yeah, because that's the kind of thing for someone that wants to retrofit Absolutely. or retro mod their thing and add some support. And everybody loves the mods. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about getting a bunch of different uh, hooks in, you know? Yep. That's one thing I'd like to see, like a bunch more hooks so you can hang stuff oh, on yeah. it and yep. all that. But you want to have something behind that to support it. Yeah, to make sure it's grabbing it. Yeah. So here, let me take, I'll take a picture of it, but there it goes. That's what, so when you hear Nick mentioning Sika Flex, that's what he's talking about right there. Okay. Very cool. Okay. I've heard him say that in videos. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's a great bonding agent between metal and yeah. wood. Yeah. Um, and this, you could buy this anywhere or you yeah. have to get this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, you, you have to dig. A little bit. Yeah. Find oh, it. is that what you needed for caulking the roof? No, I think the roof is a different thing. So what what he's getting is self leveler, self -leveler. and okay. you, you lay it out mm -hmm. and keep so it. like the wires and stuff mm -hmm. like that I have yep. up over yep. there. Yeah, that would be a good solution. So there that. you go. So uh, this is Manus Bond self leveling, and this is to help protect the stuff up top from mm -hmm. the sun. Now. So it's self leveling in that you'll put it out and yep. then it'll even itself out yes, and look neat yes, up sir. there. Okay. Now. Um, when you folks are doing mods and solar and mm -hmm. adding something right. to the roof, yeah, I've, I've seen some vans come back here that never put a screw through a van, right? Ceiling, roof. Mm -hmm. Let us do that. Use that as a bonding agent. If you've got a solar cable, um, let's that's maybe relaxed up. Okay. Okay, and mm -hmm. you can see it behind your awning. Pinch the solar, pinch the cable down. Get a dollop then, of that, hold okay. it down, let it Use set up, and then it's it. going to, oh, okay. and it'll do a great job. It'll do okay. a great job. We've seen yeah. some horror stories of customers oh. installing solar panels <laughs> and whatnot. Right. Maybe this guy. <laughs> um, just, uh, we came, one time a van mm -hmm. came back that went to a chain of dealerships that I will mm -hmm. not name, and the whole roof was dipped in. Dipped in. I mean, they, you know, in order to work on a B van the right way on the roof, mm -hmm. you should have a very thick, um, two and a half foot wide piece of wood mm -hmm. wrapped in felt that you can rest across all aspects of the van mm -hmm. instead of just getting on your knees. Yeah, I see a lot of guys build platforms yep. to get up yep. there. And that's you know, we got a it. mezzanine yeah. platform there. Yeah. You know, when you're doing it yourself, you know, yep. especially if you don't know what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> that's why these videos yeah. are so instrumental. And some guys like me just jump right in. So right, right now, before we, we move on, I see here, just because I see it over here, there's some solar. Oh, well, there we go. These are the flexible yep. solar yep. panels that you guys yep. use. And, and really we, cool. Yeah, and we get stuff. we get that question a lot. Why flexible and why not standoffs? Mm -hmm. And what I mean by standoffs is where it's elevated above the van roof. Mm -hmm. Well, the standoffs have a frame. A solar uh, the solar panels have a frame, so it's not going to be this flexible. But mm -hmm. you do get a lot of wind coming up underneath that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's nice is there is a slight arc to all the roofs, mm -hmm. and this is able, you know. Flat, yeah. Only get so much, but yeah. when you add a little curvature, you're getting more solar collection. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. these solar panels are becoming more and more durable, um, uh, higher wattage, yeah. and, and they're pretty tough. Like yeah. I've washed yeah. them down oh, and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. This, the, I mean, just imagine where this technology is going to oh, yeah. be in a few years. Yep. Amazing. Now, I you see can, some. You, you cannot ahead. run your van mm -hmm. off solar panels. Right. You will not be able to run anything mm -hmm. off solar panels right the solar panels whether it's lithium mm -hmm. or standard are basically there to top off your refrigerator mm -hmm. and we estimate four to six amps a day mm -hmm. it's we want it to put in that refrigerator mm -hmm. will always be gone mm -hmm. we want it to put in four or six yeah. amps so we get people that didn't get a good walkthrough 
that mm -hmm. maybe thought they were buying a different van or a brand and okay, through the buying process they've yeah. just got everything jumbled yeah. and I understand I you know mm -hmm. I, I'm that kind of shopper just do a little bit more homework folks typically our West Coast boutique builders that are out mm -hmm. past the Rockies mm -hmm. they're putting 1600 watts of solar up top no AC and they've got a little max air fan mm hmm that can you know that can charge up those batteries. Sure. We're, 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 we're talking two yeah. different. What you're bulbs. gonna get is uh, the refrigerator, the fan can run, yep. and lights. There you go. You know, uh, but typically, so like if I'm leaving, we, we stayed with Lola's brother in Alabama, and I and I had the the van parked outside of his house, but you know, stay mm -hmm. his family. You, you're hanging out with them, and the solar panel is able to keep the fan going yep. and the refrigerator, yep. just like you're saying. Yep. You know, and you can monitor stuff through your app and all that yep. kind of stuff. Yep. I usually look at it if I see it running down or it's a cloudy day, kick the generator off. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, and you notice the windows. So yes, I did. Um, Premier Products is a good, uh, very good supplier of mm -hmm. from us or for us. Pardon mm -hmm. me. Um, you know, one thing is very nice about this, and you know, we're going through all kinds mm -hmm. of trade issues mm -hmm. uh, in the world. We have a direct line. To a glass factory in China, in China and one of the best ones out there okay and if you would look at there's CR Lawrence out there mm -hmm. a glass manufacturer mm -hmm. that, that makes windows for sprinters mm -hmm. a lot of the guys have a lot of if you really look closely you can see a weave down mm -hmm. the glass or ribs mm -hmm. really nice glass here yeah um, and you can see a solid window so this would be going behind a refrigerator or a, or a shower that would yeah. be at the back end this would possibly be in the middle okay yeah yeah, it's what people are doing to put in windows right now is, is pretty cool because I had no idea that the vans didn't come with the windows. Right. And I think in the past, if you look at older stuff, you could see that. Yeah. Now, in mm -hmm. particular, mm -hmm. your your van, the rear back, mm -hmm. we have Glass Doctor, a national mm -hmm. chain, come in. Okay. And they pop out the uh, D3 and P3 and mm -hmm. put in a vented window in the, in the back, or pardon uh, me. No. We take the vented out of the mm -hmm. rear bath and put fix back there because you've got shower and yeah. cabinet. Yeah. And then we put, Glass Doctor puts a middle uh, vent. Okay, and then it just looks seamless. Looks seamless. Oh, looks okay. Seamless. Oh, yeah. so Glass Doctor does yep. that. Okay. And, and awesome. why is that good? You're in the system. Your yeah. VIN number's in the system. Yeah. Uh, I got a leak. Glass Doctor, be out in 35 minutes. Yeah. So yeah, coming to yep. your house, avoiding the dealership, mm -hmm. avoiding the Ford dealership, avoiding the RV Makes dealership. Makes it easy. <laughs> Makes it easy. <laughs> yes. Okay, very cool. Yep. So we're moving along here yep. in the process. And it's going to be slow. So this here. has the Leno. Yep, it's got the Leno no, and then what we call our, our coin garage. wrap. Yep. Yeah. Some manufacturers are still putting carpet back here in Leno. We brought Leno all the way back, and guys are putting their toolboxes in here and then showing me the dig mark mm -hmm. of the corner of the tool. Yeah. Much more. Uh, this is great. Yep. Beautiful linoleum. We've been using yeah. it for, for a long time. It just really works well. Mm -hmm. We put the aluminum um, AC bracket. And the aluminum um, max uh, fan bracket, you see solar wires coming through, mm -hmm. uh, possibly Wi-Fi dropping down. Uh, I'm not sure what the yellow wire is. Yeah, I see there's a hole here in yep. all of them going along. Mm -hmm. What's this one for? Um, we probably run a wire through here, mm -hmm. down through the chassis. I'm not oh, quite okay. sure what, what that's for. Okay, so that loom's coming through yep, there. Yep, okay, that's cool. protecting them from chassis, wood, any yeah. sharp debris okay. that goes all the way down. So the even ground. so even here, this is gonna be probably covered with something, right? Oh, yeah. There's something built yeah. over here, yeah. but you're still putting the wall, yeah. wall, you're putting this material all the way back. Yeah. Okay, cool. Real clean, Yeah. nice start to a good van. Yeah. And then over here, you're going to see our showers. And I'll, um, we use about three to four different showers. Oh, fiberglass. All fiberglass. We don't use any plastic. Mm -hmm. And then, see shower prepped up front. You got your rear bath showers. Hold on, what's that? No, okay. Have fun up. Got some Beyond showers there. Some Beyond. Side baths. Here's my the yep. rear bath. Yep, rear bath. Yep. It's got water on the side. They look like. So what's the uh, what's the concept of the French drain here? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just curious about that because I know we have one. Um we just didn't want um, it allows for some water buildup without it being on your feet. Oh okay. Okay. Um, it hides the drain. Um, you're not standing 
on the drain and plugging up the drain right, because right. you only got yeah, well, so, much, so much room so to much move room, around. And yeah. that drain had to be there. Yeah. Um, we can manipulate some of these drains a little bit. Yeah. Right? To so have a little just like down. the French drain, I'm yeah. seeing it in hotels that I travel to. Yeah. Something a little bit different. Yeah, it's cool. And again, it's a one piece mm -hmm. fiberglass. We're one of the only rear bath manu uh, guys that are building a rear bath floor plan that don't have an ABS plastic shower that rattles, etc. Okay. Now we're seeing, seeing the a wires lot, coming. Yeah, a lot so of here's a good look, Lola, at um, the rock wall. Yep, rock wall. Inside. I don't yep. know if we, do we want to go in? Yeah, you're more than welcome to go in. We've yeah. got a door view we'll right go there. This way. And but, then right here, some of the wiring yep, that I was yep, asking Nick about. Yep. So there's wiring starting to come in. Yep, possibly tank sensors. And you're putting up a frame here, yep. I see. And this is just to stand the wall off and have a little bite um, when we. So we're not just going into metal. Right. Very cool. Take this? A for me. Take a picture for me. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go in there, though. Can we just go yeah. in real quick, Lola? Okay. Now you got your windows in. Yeah, so here's windows in on this yep. side. So if someone... Um, if someone wants to get their windows tinted, like I want to tint my front windows, I really just need to do the windshield and this window, right? Mm -hmm. Because these are already taken care of. This is, a, is it an actual tint, it's, like with reflective material there, or do I need to tint over that? I think that? we're about a 60% tint. 60. So we've had guys go a little so bit. So you still can go, yep. yeah. Yep. yeah. And, it, and that's inherent in the glass. It's not a coating that needs right. to peel off. You can yeah. go right over this. Okay, I was asking, like, so for example, how this has got this nice stealth gray, I would tint it with a perforated tint that's yep. similar to this stealthy. color. Yep. Looks more stealthy. Yep. Here, Lola, let me. Uh, what, what did you just do, Lola? <laughs> did you just roll your eyes? I did, with their stealthy, stealthiness. Everything's gonna be stealth, stealth, stealth. Yep, yep, yeah. and that's a good thing. That's, that's how I roll. Thing. Yep. That's how I roll, Lola. Now, Don't hate. Yep, Mercedes. Um, there's a blackout, so this is a 24A, a 24FL, so a shower, a, a reefer cabinet will be there, so there's extra insulation behind yeah. the rock wall. And this will have glass on the other side, yep. or appear to look like yep. that from the It'll other side. It'll be completely blacked out, yeah. and it won't have any venting capabilities. So okay. maybe, you know, at one time we did use vented glass behind reefer cabinet for a short stint. We learned our lesson because... Mm -hmm. They opened up, and so we replaced it with yeah. uh, just a fixed glass. You don't want moisture or nope, anything getting nope. back there. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little quick shot of this, and then we can keep uh, moving through here. But just so you guys can see, like, all the work going into it. So, here you go, Lola. So and, and this is the reason why these hold more value than... Um, individually built vans. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, there's standardization. There's yeah. standardization in this where there isn't with some Yeah. Vans. So I was going to um, if if I couldn't like finance or whatever one of these vans, I told Lola, I'm just gonna go buy one and build it. Yeah. Easy said, peasy. No way, no. And then I looked at all these videos, including a bunch of them that had you, I was like, eh. I think I'm, it's cheaper to buy that. <laughs> well I'm not gonna let her beat you up too bad about right. this, okay? Uh -huh. Um so Lola at the beginning, I worked a lot of shows. I still work a lot of shows. I love interacting with the customers. But I was, in specific, my second year, 2018, Denver, Colorado show. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you folks. We're talking about Galleria. And I feel a group of guys and this lady off my right shoulder. I'm just, something ain't right. And they look like three Mar uh, four Marlboro men and a gal. I mean, they car hard. Yeah. I mean, I knew. And I, I kind of knew that they were wanting to talk to me. And, and so I finished up and went over to her. I go, ma'am, and she goes, yeah, I, I want to talk to you. Uh -huh. And I go, what's going on? What did I do wrong? She goes, you didn't do anything wrong. Here's my deal. I got these four renegades over here. They've been best friends since they've been 16 years old. They've just retired. Uh -huh. Me and the wives have been waiting to get on the road and do fun stuff. Now all four of them want to build their own bands. And then they wouldn't look at me because she's leading the conversation. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah. man, yeah. what's this kid? following what's orders yep. over here right So now. I turned to him. I said, oh, you know, I got no problem with you building your own. Why don't you let me build it for you and warranty it for you? Mm -hmm. Do you know about this? Do you know about this? Do you know the reason why we know about it? We've made those mistakes. It's kind of like that in, uh, insurance yeah. commercial with the guy from Law & Order. Yeah. And he says, yeah, we've done that. We've seen that. Yeah. We've done that. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of And one of those mistakes could absolutely destroy an individual building. Mm -hmm. um, 
I understand the renegade part of it to DIY it yourself. Um, and you're more than welcome to, but we've got some really well thought out products and um, you know, take a chance on us a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if those guys yeah, ever not... bought anything from us or not, right. but they were willing to talk and engage and I've helped a couple guys that found my email or whatever that said, look, I'm not interested in buying anything from you, but I want to be there. Maybe when I'm 50, you know, in my 50s, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll come back to you. But right now, I want to do my own thing. Yeah. Hey, here's a, here's where you get this installation. This is where yeah. I got this, and this is how we do that. I believe in freedom. Yep. Do what you want to yep. do. There, yep. There's the adventure part of it, and if you're yes. a handy person and you believe in the adventure, I think do that. You know, uh, you might not have the resale value. Like, if you buy one of these, there's a lot of stuff that comes along with it, like the warranty, for yep. example. Yep. Yep. That's tra Those are transferable, right? They're not. They're not They're transferable. Not. They're okay. not. Yep. But if someone bought one used, can they come to you guys and get it later? Or it's, uh, it's we, just, it's okay um, um, we are very flexible with our warranty. Okay, I'll say that. put it that way. Um, if okay. we've got, you know, just this week we're talking to a second owner. Yeah. Um, he's got some questions and he didn't get the information and we're helping him out. Yeah. Um, just because he's a second owner, it still says coachman, we're always, we might not always do the right thing during the day, but at the end of the day, we're gonna do the right thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You made a mistake, it, it, realize your mistake, own yeah. up to it, let's take care, get the customer on the road, get him in that adventure mode, and um, yeah. start on a new customer. If you're not handy, the best thing to do, buy it, buy it new, and get a warranty on it, yep. especially if you know, but take your time because it's going to work the best for you if you're in it for a while. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So and what? So go ahead. So more wires more coming stuff down. Going in here. Showers been put in. Okay. Now, Tanks. now we've got a tank, mm -hmm. and you see the 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 top the, the top stuff. of the oh, tank the top, there. Okay. You mm -hmm. see the the terminals. Those are our um, tank probes okay. uh, that read five degrees. There, you have the truma. Hot water heater and okay. furnace. Yeah. What did you so, set your true mat last night? Uh, we put it to boost. <laughs> boost? Did it get to the temperature that you were it, looking? Yeah, it got pretty hot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was thinking yeah. about you too last night. Yeah. Lolo will probably uh, talk to you about it later, but I think it, it got there. We both took hot okay. showers. Let, yeah. let me know. Let me yeah. know. That's what, yeah. That's what we're here so, for. So everything's in here, but these are going under. Yeah, things are going under okay. too. So we in the Mercedes, we run the water lines underneath. Yeah. Ford and Dodge. We keep it above floor. Yeah. Um, but for Mercedes, one of the things we ran into is we're transient customers, mm -hmm. and we're going to go from point A to point B, and we might run into some some inclement weather, mm -hmm. 30, 20s, mm -hmm. uh, to get to the next spot. And there really wasn't anybody doing any water protection mm -hmm. in our price point. Okay. Okay. And so what we did is we put together a Polar Package Plus. And anytime we do something like that, we really like to test it. Mm -hmm. So I told my engineer, Craig, um, this is what we want to see. I'll break it down uh, for you, but I want it five degrees, mm -hmm. five degrees. And we took it to a cold booth that simulates five degrees. Mm -hmm. and, and we failed the first time. Mm -hmm. And where we failed is you see the red and the, the, the hot and the cold line going oh, right up and here. down. Uh -huh. So that goes down through the van floor. Okay. We, we did not insulate here, pardon me, we insulated all the way up to the van floor, but we didn't insulate up through the transition. Okay. So we take a 12 volt heat wire, okay. wrap the two lines, mm -hmm. okay? Then we take, and then tape it up with electrical, electrical tape, take hot water heater um, pipe insulation, mm -hmm. wrap that, that, but we bring that heat pipe, and this is an option, we bring that heat uh, strip up about 10 inches above the floor. And this is in the what? Package? The Galleria. No. Uh, for the Polar Package Polar Plus. Package. Yep. Right. Your Beyond, everything is up above floor. Yeah. Okay, so your Truma and your right. Dash controls are controlling, yes. controlling yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but, but if you know that you're going, like if you're in Alaska yeah. or something like that, and yeah. you like being out there when it's yeah. really cold, that's great. I mean, look, so we live in North Central Florida and it gets to freezing. Yep. We have things like that for the same reason. You were in Texas three weeks before the big Freeze yeah. debacle, right? Yeah. Ballpark. Yeah. Um, I think so. That anything can good. change. Absolutely. Um, now, if you don't want to spend the extra money on the Polar Package Plus, once we developed the Polar Package Plus, did all this marketing, testing, cold booth, we kind of sat back and thought, okay, if I'm driving down the road 
I think I'm freezing up. I have my wife go and check the faucet. Yeah, it's just not working. I think I think we might have a little ice blockage in there. Mm -hmm. What you can do is leave that faucet open a little bit, mm -hmm. turn your trim on, mm -hmm. cycle the water with the water pump. It'll heat it up. And just kind of create a just a slow drip. That's what we do also. That's that's for, yeah. for you guys if you're really in cold weather with the Nova yeah. and four or the Beyond in the in the in the Nova. Yeah. That's something to think about. Yeah. And we had a customer, Chris Mateus. He bought one of our most expensive gallerias. Young, young kid. Mm -hmm. Decked out. Awesome guy. He calls me, he goes, Nick, I'm I'm he's an engineer. That's mm -hmm. problems in my life, engineers. Right. <laughs> he goes, Hey, I, I know. know you told me yeah. not to go under five degrees. <laughs> right. But I, I can't stop going. I'm like, yeah. I got it, Chris, you're fine. Uh -huh. I, why don't we try this? And he goes, oh, so we're just going to break two and two together. Mm -hmm. That Truma can help out a little bit if you manipulate it a little bit, so you can break those blockages. Yeah. The cool. Truma is really nice, guys. Um, there's really nothing like it as far as um, when you you could put. I tell I could put my seven-year-old daughter's mm -hmm. hand mm -hmm. on right, the pipe. Right here's the pipe on the exhaust. Yeah. Okay, my seven-year-old daughter. Now, you do that to a Suburban, an Atwood, or any other RV heat vent, it's going to say Atwood backwards, and you're going to go to the emergency room. Why is that hot? Why is that so hot? Such an immense loss of energy. Transfer. This is just like dryer vent. Yeah. You're not losing a bunch of, uh, of energy, and that's why they tout, uh, I think, 97% yeah. efficiency. Right. And it works, and it works. And um, Bruce Nelson, you met Bruce Nelson down in uh, Gainesville. I did, uh, Ocala. Ocala, yes. When I sold Bruce's van, he wasn't quite thrilled with Truma, um, having to have LP aboard. You talk to Bruce today. He loves it, yeah. Absolutely loves it. Yeah, absolutely only thing Bruce it. will tell you is to put one of those screen guards. For the mud this. daubers, or. Yeah, put one of those over yep. there, so. Yep. That's, uh, you know, uh, I agree with him on that. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Got so a shower here's, in. Here's what you were talking yep. about with the hot, cold Lola, yep. if you want to get a close yep. up on that. It's your cold, it's your hot. You got your water pump. Yeah. Make sure when you guys, right now, when you're taking delivery, have them double check that they've dewinterized the van. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're dewinterized. Mm -hmm. And make sure that the, the valves are closed. We're yeah. seeing some maybe so quick. So winterizing is what in there? What kind of fluid did they have in there? RV antifreeze. Antifreeze. RV okay. antifreeze. Basically, it's a soap solution. It's yeah. it's you could drink it. It's not it's it's not anything yeah. dangerous. I mean, you yeah. can. It's the pink yeah. stuff that you'll you see in the shower yeah, at the show. Yeah, you taste it. It needs to get all yep. through a couple yep. of times. And yep. dewinterizing means dewinterizes and reversing the process. Getting that getting out. that dewinterization fluid out. Um, making sure your valves are now not closed and blocking off the truma from having the, the fluid inside and making sure your water system is yeah. has con so continuity. So guys, I know, like I've seen guys that are going into really cold weather and they'll they'll re, re winterize it and yep. leave that to sit in there yep. because it doesn't freeze. Some people, we might yeah. be referring to the same video, a gentleman out in YouTube, um, when he goes to extreme environments, he'll pour excess antifreeze, automotive antifreeze in his tanks, mm -hmm. directly into his tank so he doesn't get any frost, ice buildup in his tanks. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yep. Yep. Are we going back around this nope. way? What we're going to do is okay. careful here in front of us. Watch your, yes. I want to show some things here. Oh, there. You know, and now we've we talked about LI3 a little bit, mm -hmm. but this is your cable in. Yeah, this is this is some big stuff. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, that is heavy. So this is your wiring that you have to have for that. Like the old blackjacks, the old police. Yeah. Used to, you know those. I mean, that's some thick stuff. Yeah. That's, that's good, Truma. strong stuff yeah, right there. Truma yeah. stacked up everywhere. And this is uh, this kind of wiring represents a lot of money in the vehicle, right? Yeah. Um, yep. Copper is. Yeah. Very expensive. Yep. So that's a price uh, thing that you guys are dealing with also, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Everything's fluctuating. Yeah, I see you've got frames. Are these for the batteries? Uh, fresh water tank, battery. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, some more tanks over there. Um, so a lot of the under, under and insulation electrical starts mm -hmm. here. Now we're going to go over to this corner. 
Okay. And enter into, a minute. enter into five. So now okay. we're in building. Yep, we just entered building five. So they leave. The last picture you guys took was uh, mm -hmm. leaving seven. We're coming around the corner of five. Mm -hmm. Some of you that have been here, you've known this to be our only plant. So picking up plant seven has been very critical, allowed us to expand production, um, have more work areas, workstations. So great opportunity here. Obviously, to me, this is a 24A. We got the beefy support frame out of aluminum. Um, you see the cozy wrap behind the window. That carries behind the now installed shower. Uh, we've got our 30 gallon fresh tank inside. This is one of the only floor plans. With the tank with in. With the tank inside because Lola then here is your fixed bed. All this oh, storage. So, okay, yep. so this is like your little garage. 26 cubic feet, 26 I think somewhere in there cubic feet of storage. Elevated Truma. Truma was on the floor before. Truma is going to be elevated there for some storage cubbies. Oh, cool. Um, a I lot know. more wiring coming through. Yeah, now. so we could see if you look up here at the roof, we could see the, the, the whole roof all the way through mm -hmm. um, has that. And then what I notice is a big jump from over there. Now we've got these uh, this aluminum uh, frame here. Um, was this in the past wood? Well, we, we prototyped everything out of wood and then we just sat and. Mm -hmm thought about it a little bit mm -hmm. you got a lot of weight um, we got mm -hmm. mechanical incline mm -hmm. um, seat back so everything mm -hmm. kind of needed to be precise Have for the these motors frames, yeah and and right now wood is about as much as aluminum <laughs> so you might as well put yeah. so yeah go go the extra step that's kind of yeah. what we do that's cool I don't like using wood in our vans mm -hmm. in this application it's completely necessary again mm -hmm. I don't want to just run a tech screw with a, a, a metal bit Mm -hmm. into the wall through our vinyl. Mm -hmm. I want, we want some bite and mm -hmm. wood, wood gives us an opportunity. So you'll see some cleat stock yeah. in some areas. Nothing, yeah. nothing crazy. I mean, so the reason why I ask is I know the, most, the more bespoke, if we could use that word, bespoke builders are using aluminum, but it is expensive. Yeah, I mean, it does yeah. wind up. Yeah, I mean, that's two so. by four aluminum. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's some heavy duty stuff. Yeah. Uh, two by fours out of wood right now are mm -hmm. eight bucks. Yeah, um, we got some metal. So that's cool. We got some copper storage here. Getting mm -hmm. ready. I mean, look at this, guys. This is pretty cool. Now, one area that we are really working hard to improve is electrical connections, grounds, um, uh, proper labeling of wires, um, doing more color coding. So mm -hmm. this is the most critical area mm -hmm. uh, here forward for about five more stations. Um, of, so everything's color coded to yep, what it is. Okay. Yep. Yep. And we want to. We want to even. I think we do a, a good job. To mm -hmm. be fair, I really want to do a great job. Electrical is what can ground somebody for a week. Mm -hmm. Electrical can be the problem from somebody. And I never endorse this. Please don't pick up your van and leave the next day for a long, dedicated trip. Pick up your van. Do a couple trips locally. A weekend. A night. Figure stuff out. Get, get some shakedown happen, mm -hmm. get used to it, okay? Mm -hmm. You might not have had a delivery. Mm -hmm. We might be a little educated. I'm not saying that, I'm just, I feel a lot of calls. Um, mm -hmm. So um, we want people mobile. We don't want yeah. them stationary, that's not the idea. Right, so here's my question here. The thinner wiring and thicker wiring, what's the purpose of that? Oh, uh, here you got 110. Over uh -huh. there we had main, um, mainly a lot of uh, beefier charging cables with the mm -hmm. four, the number one, the number yeah. four. We got 12 volt. Um, each so, one's got their own designation as far as okay. what our tech should look for. Hey, mm -hmm. look for the pink wire attached to the ground by the wheel well. Okay. All right, look for the connection between the, the two brown wires mm -hmm. um, behind the driver's seat. Just a way that, to, yeah, to locate. Helps. Yep. Yeah, and I know, yep. And here's one thing, we, I know I frustrate some customers. I have an obligation to each and every one of you folks that I got to keep you safe, both in the products that we build, but while you're in the van. And I know we've got a lot of talented customers, engineers, DIY guys, far smarter than us and anybody in the plant. I just can't let you work on electricity, okay? If you, if a customer out there, I know you're doing it, okay? I, I know you're doing it. Um, yeah. I just can't endorse it. Be careful. 12 volt kills. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we take that serious. Mm -hmm. Just, it took us a year, eight months to figure out which lithium system we were going to go to because of safety. Yeah. Um, it, if you just look at those wires, you don't want to cowboy through yeah, don't, those kinds don't of Don't cowboy wires. through it. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. Um, just be very cautious. Always go back to our dealer if we can. Okay. Yeah. I know that's probably not what everybody wants to hear, but I gotta, 
I gotta watch out for us. I know you guys, um, you're stubborn. You want to go. You want to have fun. And Why are you sometimes at me? no, I'm, I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> okay. And if you want to have fun and you want to go and you know the fix, <laughs> I get it. Just um, let's just be very, yeah. very careful. We can't endorse working on electrical at home. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry, well, my little fatherly, my little fatherly five minutes there. Yeah. This is, you know. Pretty tight. Yeah. So Pretty how tight. long? What's the time frame before it gets from a van outside to get here? I want to say six days. Six, uh, six seven days. About six seven days. Okay. And depending on the build too, Nova, we can run a little bit, a little okay. bit faster. And I see some cabinets are starting to yes. build up outside yeah. here. And I love these cabinets. Um, you know, this is what we were known for off the get go, and, and just doing things different. You see a lot of HPL, mm -hmm. the shiny radius plasticky reflection cabinet so you see them in every brand now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um hpl doesn't react too well down in florida texas arizona <laughs> california yeah. hardwood does yeah. okay um uh, our drawers at what point do they get hardware um a little bit probably down closer to final finish okay yeah okay cool yeah but uh, real high end mm -hmm. midwest winnebago all of our competitors are trying to copy our amish uh custom dovetail you can tell it, this is just what these guys do. They learn it when they're 10. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're building this stuff at a young age. High quality cabinets are important. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to hear me talk about this in other videos. And sorry to repeat myself. Oh, I came in here wanting to fix the world and using old ways that I fixed other things in fifth wheels, going through the bill of material. Do we need to pay that much for that much? Do we need? Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of lessons. Mm -hmm. I was mid 40s, kind of had to relearn this segment for kind of forget everything I, I knew mm -hmm. um, looked at the price in the bill of material the cabinet said I'm done I'm done We're, we can build these ourselves customer tracked me down my first year 2017 at Tampa show uh, Matt Taylor thank you mm -hmm. and said well, what are your plans for the division and took me in the back of a van uh, I wrote down notes and notes and notes and he asked me he goes you know what I think you're making a huge mistake with this idea of getting away from these cabinets and thank God I ran into Matt, great customer. Thank you for the advice. Yeah. And we listened, and um, I won right. And yeah. we, we kept, we did, we did the right thing. And we don't need to go backwards. We don't need to go cheaper. We need to be better. Um, and it, that always doesn't mean dollar amount, but better products, yeah. more longevity, this more reliable. Bring, from my side as a customer, this brings the home side of it yep. in. Yep. And uh, we have this in our van, but I'm always looking at other vans. Yep. And that is one of the things I do yep. notice. And it's, so I'm kind of spoiled now. Yep. Quiet. Yeah. It's quiet too. Yeah. Quiet. This is good stuff. Yep. So. And, and you know, typical RV build, you would never see furniture grade. I think this mm -hmm. is half inch plywood. Mm -hmm. This would be a thin layer of Luan. You've got pocket screws. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are pros. Beautiful yeah. pantry. So are the guys, they're not, they're building it here. Nope. No, they're nope. building it somewhere else. Yep. Coming so in here. we've got a gal, Amy, mm -hmm. that uh, wraps our vinyl walls. Okay. Uh, she's Amish. Her father owns the shop. It's about 10 minutes away. Okay. Um, very nice shop. Beautiful, very clean. All Amish ran. Great relationship with uh, Heritage. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not, it's not a big deal to know what you're good at mm -hmm. and maybe know what other people can do better yes. than you. So let's right. put it in the yeah. professional's hands. We buy them, offload them, stage they them. Come, they come stage yep. here. Okay. Yep. Another 24A yeah. coming in. To get in further along. Yep. Okay. Rock wool, uh, bag of rock Lots of brick wool. Yeah, we could go around here yep. and see that open. And, and why I like rock wool also is, you you know, we've taken a bunch of pictures of, of these little cavities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they've got a fascia on them, so there's more room. So there's, see how that, that's tucked in behind the fascia? Yeah. And it's just not laid there. So mm -hmm. this actually, pink stuff, is just limp. And this is and not like, this is not itchy or scratchy no, to no, touch no. or anything like but that. But it's got flex mm -hmm. and it's got continuity mm -hmm. so we, we really like it it's great for those small spaces we've got a looks like a g12 board for firefly up on the wall there the van wall shower misers installed looks like a data cable in the orange going to the firefly um, some 12 volt lines coming down and 
and then we won't completely black this window out because there's a desk right there. And oh, then so okay. that, that person, when they flip yeah. the driver's seat around, they've got a, I see. a window. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah, but we carry that black out all the way forward. You see the foil, mm -hmm. the cozy, the cozy, and the rock wall. Yeah, so just take a look at this right yeah. here. You see the three layers on that window? The window right there, yeah. A lot so of black out going there. all yep. the way up to there. So somewhere right there, they'll yep, we'll have make a, a like end the cabinetry mm -hmm. connected yep. to the shower. And we'll have a great chance to see okay. that right here. Awesome. Yeah. Now a ton changed. Now we're yeah. <laughs> just just ten steps, and a, a yeah. bunch has changed. Um, this is down because we haven't put the overhead. Oh, this in. folds up. Okay, yeah. so the you, you continue. Yep. Yeah, yep. you continue this right along. So the there. walls, okay. the vinyl walls have been put in. The window treatments. See have been that? Put That's in. cool. Yeah. Cabinets have been put in. Yeah. You see our. It's more like a home now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The part that you were talking about, that cabinetry, yeah. that homey feeling. Yeah. And again, I love the. Love the B pillars, the material. It just yeah. it just looks soft and it's yeah. not cold like ABS. Um, and so one thing, uh, can we go in here? Yeah, yeah. Let's yep. go in this one since it's made such a jump. Um, okay, so I see. Yep. So that that wall that yep. we were looking at the window comes up to here. Oh, sorry, Lola. Yep. Comes up to here. You've got like a nice table here. You mm -hmm. can still store stuff. Countertop will be put on there. Right. So here's your little office window that yep. this will all be set up so you can lift it up so you've got the little view out of here. And the cool thing is that because, is what, what's this called? Radius? Eh? Radius. Yeah. Yep. So now you can actually <laughs> swivel yep. that chair around yep. and be comfortable yep. there and have like a nice little This is a, Lola likes these kinds of layouts, yeah. right Lola? Mm -hmm. We've got pull out yeah. drawers for computers. We even got a doggy dish or a cat dish if you wanted to pull mm -hmm. out the dog um, dish yeah. underneath for yeah. water, bowl, food. Yeah. Everybody, 80% of our customers It's so cool travel to see it at this pets. stage. Here, uh, should I? Here. Yeah, so let's just... I'm always doing the walkthroughs of these things, you yeah. know? It's cool to see it at this stage and uh, the workmanship that's still going into it. So as, like, I know you spend all that time explaining to me that you're not building it, and then I'm like, oh, you're building it here. But the only thing you're doing here is adding hardware to these cabinets. Okay, so yeah. we build, we frame in... Yeah. Um, Behind, if if you pull this off and pull this off, you'll right. see uh, one by four, one by two, one by six framing. Oh, so framing. So there's gonna be framing that we tack this mm -hmm. decorative luon mm -hmm. to the framing, and then we cap that with with the shower surround. Okay, cool. Yep. Right. Very nice. So I'm gonna go through. Absolutely. I'm gonna go through here and walk through. You know, that's um, a real important part, you know, you're seeing multiple levels behind the walls, behind yeah. the cabinets, under the So cabinets. right here, there's not a lot of, I'll wait a second if you guys can see. Yeah. Um, actually, hold on, let me pull out my f trusty flashlight and show you guys. So there's the rock wall. So this is a cabinet, right? Does this wind up being That is okay? a reefer cabinet. This is okay. This is so you're refrigerator. probably seeing cozy wrap lined. Yeah. I can't see it, but there should be cozy wrap lined behind that or on the inside of that wall. That's okay. just to keep solar or to keep the heat off the back side of that refrigerator. Oh, okay. All right, and so like here would be the shower. Mm -hmm. Shower, fridge, yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen so a sink or something would be yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. That's cool. Yep. Now here's here's something I touched on, but I just for the folks at home talk about wrapping the edges. Mm -hmm. So when this butts up against another wall, you've got that cushioning, and it's not right. yeah. a substrate of wood or plastic on plastic, and you're getting Making those squeaks. It, yeah. Um, our value. Any any opportunity to have closed cell or open cell foam like this yeah. is an added R value. Yeah. One of the things we could tell, like we've, we've done some miles on the road on this trip, and we could easily tell when something's out of place, right, Lola? Because yep. I'm driving and there's something like rattling the whole way. I'm like, what is this thing? Because I don't hear it. Yep. And it's I think, usually a glass bottle on the front. Yeah, like, I took out a drink glass and <laughs> the plastic yep. between the glass yep. bottles. Yep. Yeah, or if there's like, you know, some, some uh, metal that's like uh, sitting on another metal thing in the drawers or whatever. So here we got a 24A with lithium, right? With the Li3 package. Side trucks. Yep. So we put the battery on top of the water tank, mm -hmm. easily accessible. You've got your 3,000 watt inverter in front. You got your fuse box. Now, see, that's all your really heavy cabling yep. coming yep. in there. Yep. 
Um, you see your BMS up front there. Mm -hmm. So you got your inverter here, mm -hmm. the gray Xantrax inverter. And then up front there, that other uh, off gray box is your BMS, your battery management system. Mm -hmm. And again, we absolutely love the relationship with Lithionics. Great battery, Florida company. Is this... Uh Oh, that, you know, that's a Florida company? I gotta go Clearwater. visit those guys. Oh. They're in Clearwater, yeah. no less? Well, I'll, I'm I'll always in Clearwater. I'll send you a link. It's, it's extremely impressive. Okay. It's, it makes me really proud. I, I went down there and it, mm -hmm. that kind of closed my decision. Mm -hmm. When I was watching US military mm -hmm. um, batteries with this special mm -hmm. case come yeah. offline and then the batteries that I would be using were coming cool. off like, right behind that. Yeah. That's reliability, yeah. that's safety. You know the level of precision and reliability mm -hmm. need in the military. Yeah, so. I do. Yes, I have one of my very good friends is in Clearwater. We yeah. do a lot of stuff yeah. together, so I'm yeah. always up there. Yeah. And I can, I'm going to go check them out. out. Yeah. yeah. Also, talk to them quite so often. So this is the battery yeah. right there. 600 nice. amp hour battery. Okay. Now, for, for some of you folks that might not know much about lithium or learning about lithium or want to know about lithium, mm -hmm. one of the biggest decisions was what chemistry we use. There's nickel based and cadmium based. Mm -hmm. um, and those are usually the ones like in a Tesla. Mm -hmm. And um, not knocking Tesla at all, love, love Tesla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you see maybe, I've seen some videos or some clips of a Tesla that like ran into a flatbed trailer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you saw the burn mark and in the, in the, in the car's gone, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you saw the burn mark of the outside of the body where the tires were and everything, mm -hmm. and it charred mm -hmm. black on the, on the mm -hmm. concrete. But you go over black concrete and you find where that and it's an outline. And there's a gr gray outline and that asphalt's mm -hmm. almost turned to dust. Mm -hmm. And that's thermal runaway mm -hmm. of that, that bat battery mm -hmm. chemistry. And there's some guys out there that are using that battery chemistry today. Mm -hmm. In the RV segment, we strictly use iron phosphate. Okay. Iron phosphate. Um, so therefore it's not going to keep burning. Correct. Correct. And it, it was something yep. tragic, so, unfortunately, so happened So let's here. say, mm -hmm. Let's say um, we do get into a, a situation where something happens within this battery that's uncommon and that could be potentially tragic. There are extinguishers in here mm -hmm. that once this reads, once it gets the heat input, mm -hmm. psh, so it closes it, the cell. So you don't have like this burns yep. today, then that yep. burns, and yep. then that. Burns. Yep. Okay. Now, um, typically in in B vans in the past, they would take a bunch of hundred amp hour batteries. Mm -hmm. And line them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't have a BMS, mm -hmm. um, the first battery is going to take the brunt of the charge of mm -hmm. the second alternator that we talked about in my office, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it'll burn up. Mm -hmm. And then the last one will never get what it needs. Mm -hmm. So that's why the importance of the BMS. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I, some days the BMS can be big, uh, big brother or big sister. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by that? So there's uh, six cells in here for mm -hmm. 600 amp hours. Each cell has got its own personality. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you got Sally who's a late sleeper. You got Billy mm -hmm. who go, uh, goes to bed super mm -hmm. late. You got Joey that's got to eat his breakfast. Mm -hmm. So the BMS comes and just communicates back and forth. I mean, yeah. Every... So they're properly charging and yep. dispersing so, energy before they go to recharge cycle. There you go, yeah. Sally. Let's go back to mm -hmm. Sally. Billy. Mm -hmm. Billy's taken care of. We never have to worry about Billy. Yeah. Billy can stay out past the street lights. Right. Around. So you get that, and, and yeah. that's that the importance of that BMS. Um, can read temperature, shut mm -hmm. down in, in extreme temperatures. Um, so, you know. It's very cool. Yeah, I'm going to go there and, and maybe do like a deep dive on oh, that. absolutely. For people who have these or who are interested. The big thing that I'm thinking here, though, looking at that and how everything else is laid out, is how do you guys think about like weight uh, distribution over the van? Correct. When, when you're laying this stuff out. Correct. Um, um, because I know, like, so for example, this being over here, very yep. heavy, right? Yep. You got your water over yeah. here too. You got yeah. your Truma. We're gonna have mm -hmm. other appliances on this side. We're gonna right. have some water on this side. So, uh, are you thinking when you're putting it together about yep. like what's going yep. here? How much is that way? Yeah, we definitely don't want to go down the road like that. Yeah. Yep. So we we have some QVM balancing tread, tire tread wear mm -hmm. test. I talked about QVM. Mm -hmm. Mercedes has their. QVM process, so we got to pass all that stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. And they might say, "Hey, you're, you're, you might want to look at being too heavy on the driver's side." Okay. So that brings up a thing, like about this specifically being a Mercedes, but I'm guessing this goes for Dodge or mm -hmm. Ford. 
Uh, everything you're doing in here, people are always wondering if this voids the warranty. I mean, if they do it themselves, I'm guessing it automatically does. Yep. If they buy, if they buy a van off the shelf at a Mercedes mm -hmm. dealership and mm -hmm. they start messing with uh, charging cables to the mm -hmm. to the engine like we do, we've been mm -hmm. authorized. We've got to do it a certain way. But you know, something I'm hearing a lot lately is Mercedes customers coming into Mercedes dealerships and Mercedes immediately saying it's a conversion problem. Yes. Okay. I don't like that. That's not mm -hmm. fair. Uh, we do a lot of due diligence to meet standards. Um, um, just you know, make a good relationship with your local Mercedes dealership. If let's say you're a customer in Gainesville, mm -hmm. and you might not, I'm not speaking, I'm just mm -hmm. general generalities here. Mm -hmm. um, you might not think your dealer in Gainesville mm -hmm. is the best. Go up to the next town mm -hmm. and find the one guy. Um, what I'm hearing lately is a lot of the dealerships, the Mercedes dealerships, don't have the lifts to work to get, on it to, to work on the yeah. van. So look look for maybe somebody more capable yeah um, so if you are in Gainesville because like since we you know mentioning it specifically I know talking to, to Nick and the guys over at Sunshine State that Mercedes dealership is read into this yep. kind of stuff yep. and that's where they go so that helps but that doesn't help everyone Correct. right Correct. because if you're not necessarily buying it somewhere where there is a Mercedes dealership yep. or you're buying it here but then you live here yep. Yep. So you, you really want to make sure that they have the wherewithal to work yep. on these. Yep, and even before you're signing the contract, you mm -hmm. know you're going to do this. You've had the final talk with the wife. Mm -hmm. you, you got that adrenaline. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting a new chapter. Right. Let's, let's read the preamble of the book, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's read what the book's about. Let's do some homework. Let's get mm -hmm. some contingency plans in place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right now, a lot of the RV dealers are absolutely slammed. They've lost employees because of the government's idea of to fix this thing, so people are, get to stay home for thirty thousand dollars a year. That's putting stress on everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, dealers aren't able to react as they should. They're not able to get the parts like they should, and it's tough. We do have some backup opportunities that, if you run into those situations, get a hold of warranty. Um, we've got a list of uh, hundred and fifty vetted non-selling service centers oh, cool. that are there for fallback. Yeah. Some of them might not ever see a B-Van, some of them might know B-Vans yeah. better than some of the guys yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but we're built and we're building that because we need to build that. So that would be great, I think, you know, and we're not doing it right now, mm -hmm. but if you're living on the road, you yep. don't have a yep. home dealership. Yep. It's the road, so yep. that's a good thing to know yep. on the road. You just went to visit you guys went to Alabama, yeah, right? Saw her brother. So, yeah. And then let's say you went over to Dallas, made a loop back through Missouri, mm -hmm. like you're gonna go, and then came back mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. I would call ahead, mm -hmm. hey, and do some do some investigating. Who who are my service shops when I'm gonna be in these spots for a day okay. or two? You know. So let's say someone is on the road already. They didn't think about it. They're no. running into something, a tire issue. You no. know, these tires have a bunch of sensors, yep. whatever. Yep. Can they, is there a number on your side that they can call up and go and find that yeah, info? They just, they, or is there a web Well, first thing is just get a hold of us. Number okay. one is just get a hold of us. Mm -hmm. Call Coachman, they'll direct you to warranty. And then we can help. We have we have our Mercedes contact, we have our Ford contact, mm -hmm. and we have our Dodge contact. Okay. I'm working on an issue with, with Mopar right now with mm -hmm. a, just something weird happening with mm -hmm. the chassis. And we facilitate that. Mm -hmm. The communication isn't like intercompany communication, like if you and I work mm -hmm. together, it's mm -hmm. usually they give us an update every other day at five to seven or eight at night. Okay. And, um, but, but they're there to, to help out, out and they, they do a good job. They do a good job. Yeah. And basically what it does, de-escalation, get all the minutia out of the way. Okay, what do we need to address? And that communication comes from a, a Ford customer care directly to Ford or Mercedes customer care directly to that yeah. Mercedes dealership. Mm -hmm. And um, it, um, it helps. So I don't know this from the van yet, but I do know this like from my Audi, I was like traveling around the country and I ran into problems with a tire. No one would, would even touch the tire yep. in like a regular tire place. It That's had right. to be an Audi dealership. And then I try to get, like, because I'm working and traveling at the same time, I try to just get them to get the tire, and then, no, we have to see the vehicle first. Yep. And the way that I actually did it is I got my dealership to help me out while yep. I was working, yep. to call them up and said, this guy's not making it up, yep. this is what's wrong with it, have a tire ready. Yep. 
because I couldn't stay in Vegas no, for more sure. than 24 hours. Yep. So You know, you do have a title for your mm -hmm. chassis and you have a mm -hmm. title for your conversion. Mm -hmm. um, but we're here to facilitate and help in either case. Mm -hmm. uh, we might not know as much as Mercedes, Ford, or Dodge to mm -hmm. actually what's happening to the chassis, but we got the channels to, to get that information up um, up the chain of command and start yeah. getting some yeah. action happening. So I won't stick on that, but just as advice, because yep. I actually live through it. Yep. Uh, just talk to, the, to uh, the guys you got it from, and they should be able to point yep. you in the right direction. Got some jump seat bases made up. Oh, cool. Okay, so yep. this is going to have... Well, do any, these are so probably... These, some point. Yep, these are probably for the next run. Since okay, are, cool. Uh, fixed beds. Uh -huh. Now we got hardware you're asking about. Cabin yeah. doors. Yeah, so, so oh, here we go. I'm going to okay. climb up in Watch here. Watch your head. Oh, look. Now we got the Firefly in, charging yeah. stations in. I love the hardware. Yep. That's why I wanted to know about the hardware. Yep. So when you see my van, you'll see I've got stuff hanging off of these yep. things. And I put things with weight on this hardware. I'm like, let me see what happens. And do the doors open if you're going yes. back and forth? No, no. The overheads? No. No. Yeah. Nope. Cool. The doors don't open. I can hang stuff off of this. You got this. some weight, a microphone. It's, yeah, it's I've got good. microphones, Perfect. but I've just got those big, uh, like industrial kind of twisties, yep. um, or it's, there's something ties they're yep. called, and I've got them all over the place and hang clothing on there. So these these are like I really like this. I know some things, uh, or some people have recessed stuff. Mm -hmm. The push button finger. Yeah, yep. but this ha it's like. I don't know if um, I don't know if it's you guys. Useful. Yeah, I don't know if you guys did it deliberately that way. Well, but it really I, does uh, help me. I probably will have walnuts for knuckles when I retire. I feel mm -hmm. my hands breaking down a little bit, mm -hmm. sore and whatnot. So for older people to, you know, I'm not saying anything wrong, man. We break, we we button. get a little old, and mm -hmm. things just don't work. Just all to of us. pop that button all the mm -hmm. time. And this is a much more accurate way yeah. that we don't have to work worry about. We got very hard or high pressure um, yeah. soft clothes. Um, yeah, hinges. I mean, you could actually grab these things. You could you could put a hanger on yeah. there. They're beautiful. Yeah, They're beautiful. it's great. It's a great idea. So I know it's sexy to have the recessed ones, yeah. but I, I enjoy that. I, I some nights I, I mean I, just that you're saying this about three nights ago. I'm like, should I do exposed hardware or do the, the do the snaps yet? But. Um, mm -hmm. You know, how we make these cabinet doors, how, how Heritage, who I talked mm -hmm. about earlier, makes these cabinet doors. So the maple on the outside is a veneer, and then mm -hmm. there's a plywood on the inside. Okay. And there's a mold. Okay. And it's a mold here and a mold here. And through microwave and, and vibration and heat, they form, they <laughs> form that crown, that mm -hmm. radius. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool how the, how the process. It is, yeah. It looks great. To make them radius. Yeah, it's like um, a luxury aircraft. Aircraft on yacht. Board. You know, we yeah. got a lot of a lot of our Galleria customers have yeah. boating yachting experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really wanted to tell you that. Like, it's a small thing, but it's a big deal. I also like the windows. That mm -hmm. there's big windows, yep. uh, multiple ones back here yep. in these vehicles. Cross breeze. That cross breeze is so great. Yep. <laughs> um, and and you know you don't, you don't always see that. For you. Um, here is the one mm -hmm. CPAP. I know we put another oh, one. Yeah, got CPAP another one in here. for you. Yeah, I did. I, that's something we did in fifth wheels. I thought it. I, mean, I was kind of joke, not joking when I put it in there. I didn't realize. I didn't realize my customer yet because I was new. Yeah. <laughs> but that CPAP, that little grommet, it's the same grommet that you pointed out earlier. We just put it up there. Yeah. CPAP. Oh yeah, and, I'm a CPAP uh, dude. Yep. But yes, I. I am a CPAP guy. Yeah. I show that all the time. Um. Okay. Now here. Are tops that go on the sides of the aluminum okay so those frames yeah. that are mounted to the side of the chassis that's this this is the, the halfway point of the bed and okay. these brackets are there to mount the um, backrest that articulates oh okay yep okay again oh, so enough. this is also going so this is going in on that frame yeah so we'll, oh wow we'll okay this. so that's some serious aluminum yep though. they'll take this Bring it in sideways, rest it here, and fasten it. Oh wow! And then we've got another section that finishes off over there and over the top there. So that's a really that's really sturdy back here. Oh, that's a, this is a different. Uh, so this is a two thousand watt versus okay. a three thousand watt lithium okay. three thousand watt mm -hmm. standard two thousand watt. Oh okay. okay? Mm -hmm. um, something we wanted to do this year. To, I mean, 
I, I told my plant, the guys are like, can we do something different with our outlets? And they're like, mm -hmm. are you serious? What's wrong with an outlet? Mm -hmm. well, why does it have to be just a traditional outlet? Why mm -hmm. can't it have USB? Yeah. C charging, awesome. yeah. you know, USB-C charging. Everything's switching over to that. Yep. Um, okay. We even take, you see the, the Firefly panel, you mm -hmm. see the TV outlet, mm -hmm. and you see the charging center. Mm -hmm. We even take out that um, charging port and insert a USB-C. Oh, cool. Um, Rick Hargraves, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a good thing yep. to do. Because everything, even Apple switching over yep. to USB-C. Yep. Yep. So that's, and uh, it makes a big difference. It yeah. It makes a big difference. Yeah. And I see there's some just right behind Lola. There's uh, these are uh, yeah these are countertops. Countertops just coming in. So they're getting ready to go into something. Yep. Now, um, people ask me what's this for. Number one, it's to lighten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm gonna have arthritis when I get older. But also, you take your plates and you just wash them, mm -hmm. and you don't want to dry them. Coffee plates, dinner plates, coffee plate. Just mm -hmm. let it dry, wet off cool. the sink. Cool. Beautiful round sink. Okay. So Painted outside, outside door. Way. This is Galleria. We are working on something like this for Beyond. Um, we've got our tank fill, our tank flush, our outside shower, our this solar will be great, charger. So there's not a bunch of stuff sitting yep. out here. And then is yep. this color? Color coordinated. Color coordinated. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Again, the macerator only on Galleria. Right. I'm 50 50 on that. Oh, okay. So now you so, see it. Now it's developing. Oh wow! Now you see the guys put the front end in. Oh, okay. Finished off a little bit. Lola, you can see there's a trap door right there. I do. Yeah. Laundry basket. Oh, yes. yes. Open that up. Slide your. I've laundry. crawled in under here, uh, doing a video with Nick. Yep. Yeah. You know. So. Just, I mean, who wouldn't want to pick up the storage anywhere in your life? I like this layout. Yep. Yeah. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Yeah. It's really, it's easy if you're going on a trip. Just throw everything in there. I like, I like the shade. Yeah, this two. is cool too. Yep. Now, yep. We, so we do two shades. A lot of guys are doing uh -huh. one. We do two. We have the blackout, and then here's the new automotion rear oh, okay. uh, shade that I like. Oh, so this. Oh, this seems like it's in a better track. Yep. Yeah. A little bit better. Yeah. Oh, and this is a metallic track too. Mm -hmm. Is it steel? Uh, aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I like the black look a little bit better. Yeah. This is nice. And pop. Yeah. And you would be surprised how. We, can, cool. we, we designed a lithium system in eight months, mm -hmm. and it took me, what, four years to find the best screen mm -hmm. I could finally find. That's so nice. We're so always looking to get better. Always looking to get better. So when you get this aluminum frame in here, you're getting more stiff, stiffness back here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, not going to be much flex. Yeah. That, that, that goes on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you could probably... That's pretty cool. Here we go. Hang on one Hold second. on one second, Nick. Yeah, so this is a more complete stage. Right, countertop is in. Yeah. Above overhead cabin is in. Yeah. The kitchenette is starting. Yes. The kitchen area. The bathroom doors have come together. You've got some hard hardware's in, I guess, at this stage. And the bathroom door. Yeah. No fridge yet. No we're appliance will be next. Yeah. And see, having the art, the hardware here everywhere, I'll have stuff hanging all over that. Yep. Oop. I got you. I got you. There you right. go. Very yep. cool. No, I'm good. Okay. And then now we see the, the basket. <laughs> yep. Now we see the front, the top. These, yeah. you got those switches there. These power up. Get you uh, reading your book, checking mm -hmm. your phone. Storage on the side. John and the guys did a good job there. Motion sensor light. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the cubbies. Yep. I like these little cubbies. Extension cords. Yeah. Anything. One thing you do have to be careful of when you're go if you're going in here, don't hit your head on those bolts. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, there should be no Trust me, to go I that did it. Uh, um, um, you if you're making a YouTube video, yeah. and you yep. crawl okay. in there. <laughs> uh, water pump on the X pillar now. Uh, mm -hmm. Kevin Ivy and a couple other customers. If you're watching, thanks for suggesting us to do that. Yeah, lot, lots of shout outs here. Well, I mean, really, we got up to speed in 18. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm, yeah. I cannot study anymore. Yeah. Let's rely on our customers. And, yeah. and actually, th we didn't have a choice. They just said, hey, uh, Nick, you, come here. Come behind yeah. the van. And then we'd have those. I've seen it happen. I think quiet, I might have done that once or twice. We've had those quiet <laughs> talks and, you know, yeah. I can't do everything. We're yeah. not going to be able to do everything. But now, about 
eighty percent of our model change is all dedicated to customer feedback, yeah. and and it should be. Yeah, it should be. We're going to spend a lot program. of time um, listening to customers and trying to figure out. And he probably doesn't want to, to say it, but like even with us, he'll go in there like, "Oh, you guys did this. Why did you do this? What's the reason?" You know, uh, taking pictures and things like that. And what that benefits is the next guy coming yeah. along gets a better. A little bit more easier, yeah. a little bit more functional. Yeah. Or next time you upgrade, you've put in the input yeah. and they've actually listened to you. So these are kind of like evolving along the way, yeah. right? Well, you know, if I'm not listening to my salespeople, mm -hmm. um, who are my customers, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you see the interaction yeah. we have with our yeah. and the support from our yeah. customers. I don't know very many brands out there and I that, I mean, we've got major brands throughout the world. Mm -hmm. I don't know many brands out there that have such a tight, connection with their with their customers and yeah. I, I really I enjoy it yeah it's that's a really difficult cool. uh, responsibility because mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of engagement yeah a lot of engagement um, yeah. but it's it's served us well and it's helped our customers and our customers know um, they're in the vans a heck of a lot more than we are yeah um, have you ever thought of this this is just a thing here just right. going, you know, I'm throwing my thing yeah. in Nick um, have you ever thought of putting uh, something on tracks here that can roll out yeah that would be that would be awesome, like a drawer or yep. something like that yep. that can roll out here, and yep. so I can have stuff right here. Maybe put things here, yep. like if I'm cooking, bring you know. So, in fifth wheels, mm -hmm. you know what a fifth wheel is, right? Yes, sir. It's a trailer that has the big gooseneck mm -hmm. nose. Mm -hmm. So this is underneath the bedroom of a fifth wheel, uh -huh. and it goes from one side of the fifth wheel to the other, uh -huh. and they make a nice little pull pull-out out trailer. Yeah. So, Paul is actually investigating that. Cool. Um, That'll be really nice. Just a little bit more access to get yeah. all the way to the yeah. to the head of that. Or so you don't always have to do it, you yep. know. Um, we got, we I know got. there's a bump out there, so you can actually leave it and make it just the plan of yep. what's right there. Yep. And then you could pull all that out, put stuff on it, push it in, and then throw more yep. stuff in. We got customers that this is a cat box. This is great. It's yeah, it's your very dog. Personal. Yeah. You know, yep. um, you, you can have the room there. Uh, that would be an awesome cage and, for a dog. And it's heated. We got a trailer yeah. duct, uh, ducted in so this, here. Does that, okay, but AC doesn't come in, no, right? I mean, okay. Fan. Yeah, to so circulate it in yep. here. Okay, cool. That's, this is, yeah, I like this layout. Which layout is this we're looking at? 24A. 24A. And this is, this is something that we want to see get involved or the idea be brought into other brands outside mm -hmm. of Galleria that we build. Okay, yep. so possibly could be beyond oh, yeah. the layout like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then now we're getting now we're getting down to the yeah. nitty gritty. Yeah. She's looking absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Smart. So nice. She's getting ready to go in. Yep. The fan is up there. The Max Air. Yep. Yeah, Max Air. Those are great. Yeah. Can't tell you how smart. awesome those are. Yep. A lot of times I use that, you know. Um, Hey, don't run the air conditioning. The so yeah, you, if you're able to open the windows, yep. so none of these windows, like in the door, they don't open, right? The this one vented in this door. Yep. Oh, yep. cool. Vented so, in the back, so you can get a lot of cross. Yeah, so you can open up here, yep. and then you can open the back. Yep. Okay, that's good. And you could probably even pull your blackout screen down mm -hmm. and your bug screen down, mm -hmm. and really still get still vent. Yeah. yeah, that's really nice. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, from this side. Lights aren't quite ready to be popped on. Yeah. Yet. The AC is framed and wired. Yep. But if, yes, appliances, you said was, were lost. So mm -hmm. none of that yet, but this looks good. Lots of outlets already yep. put in. Watch your foot here. Yeah. Yep. Got you. There you go. And outlets and charging ports mm -hmm. here, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. A uh, big beyond request is an outlet at the end of the base cabinet we're working right. on after this year. That would be cool. Yep. Um, you know, I touched on quality, talked about vibration and the build. Mm -hmm. I really believe a lot of guys miss what I think is number three in quality. We got just quality. You should come to work, build a good van, build it like you want to, like it. you're building it for yourself, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then we always got to be putting really good parts in for sound mitigation mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, also the products that we're choosing to put in the van, mm -hmm. are, are they the best out there? Right. Um, are they the most robust? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. These guys, these 42 guys and gals out here, I could give them the worst materials of the. I can go each plant and find the worst materials, the cheapest made, and give it to them and say, "Build me a B van." They make it look good, real good for 30 days mm -hmm. until just it just can't take it that right. stress anymore. 
So, you know, yeah. selecting Xantrex, mm -hmm. Lithionics, Nova Cool Refrigerator, 12-volt mm -hmm. refrigerator. Um, you know, a lot of the new folks, we call them newbies. Come on, guys, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you mean this refrigerator is only 12-volt and it's not LP? Well, they've been shopping RVs in the past, mm -hmm. and it's really nice to have 12-volt only refrigerator. Yeah, it ju it'll just and run then, all, all the yep. time, like you said, off of yep. the And you can be unlevel. Yeah. You can be unlevel, mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about up, unlevel up to a 30-degree list is what. This is um, the refrigerator that's only in uh, Canadian and U.S. Coast Guard vessels. Okay, yep. Nova so Cool. Yep. So, so how do you that. guys work with a company like Nova Cool? Are you just ordering stuff from them, or do you like spend a lot of time talking to them, like we do to you, about buying the vans, about what you yep. would like to see? To, well, th to put this in a one van? was this one was self created by the supplier. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to name the supplier, um, but they failed us. Mm -hmm. um, they weren't communicating. They knew what was happening in the field and they let us struggle for a while mm -hmm. until I ran across a customer mm -hmm. that knew more about the problem mm -hmm. than the refrigerator company mm -hmm. and he says Nick this is a refrigerator that was designed to go on a Volvo semi truck mm -hmm. they had this problem you need to he goes ask them about it mm -hmm. and I went back and asked him and they're like okay you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got I told you if I don't find it one of my customers will figure mm -hmm. it out. Well, we just got that kind of intelligence yeah, and that absolutely, kind of, where, where is this? I'm not, kind mm -hmm. of like my dog. I'm not going to stop until I find mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the appliances, the ACs, um, we really spent a lot of time um, vetting out the, the best supplier. Oh, so that's what this US, uh, USCG, yep. US Coast Guard approval. Yeah, there, you, okay. there you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's cool. Robust. Yeah. Oh, um, ours have, has never failed us. So yep. it's always it's always cold. We had some. We had some. Bigger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest that's different floor yeah. plan, Lola. I know. Um, that's mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing. Just a little bit bigger. A yeah. little bit bigger. This year we did go to. Which is See, nice. You know what's perfect in this? Here would be the perfection for me and Lola. I have my van. Lola has her van. And you'll be cooking you know. for yourself and your No, no, no. Then every now and then, they, if you can somehow figure out a way to park them up and then bridge them. Bridge them, yeah. That's what you need to do, Nick. <laughs> Have a little can, catwalk. The his and her catwalk. vehicle. But then, but then when I'm ready, yeah. Lo, don't give Lola excuses there. to get away from me. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, I can't come out of my van. You're, you're, you're going to have to feed yourself. So it talked about the key foam a little bit, the change in vinyl. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things when I first started, I couldn't wrap my head around it. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. I would go. Can I uh, sit on this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I would go in an Airstream. I would go in these other guys' vans, and when you powered their sofa down, it was like powering your front seat down and trying to sleep in it. And you mm -hmm. had this cavern it right above your bottom and mm -hmm. right below your tailbone. Well, I sleep on a bed that's 180 degrees flat at home. Why can't mm -hmm. we spend some time, figure it out, provide that for our customers? Mm -hmm. We want every, in order to get her in, whoever's the pickiest out of the couple, mm -hmm. how do we overcome all the objections? Mm -hmm. We make sure that we have as many home features, yeah, comforts, possible. in the van as, as possible yeah. to make it feel like home on wheels. So yeah. we worked with our, our um, we changed suppliers, worked with them and we did what's called a 180 degree lay flat sofa. We've got probably the most minimal dip mm -hmm. at the at the joint, at the seam okay. um, possible. And um, cool. you know, just sleep. You're always gonna have a better day. Yeah, this next feels comfortable just sleep. sitting in it yeah, too. Not bad. That's cool. Not yeah, bad. I like these. So this is a, when did you start using this material in here this, and the cushioning was, and everything? Uh, Q foam was last year, material okay. was last year. The seat mech has been about two and a half years. So the seat mech we did mm -hmm. first. Okay. Yep. Wood tables, we got the boom tables, these tables. Okay. And then what we do is we wrap around here. The lagoon tables are really cool. Yep, they are. Very versatile. I shame on me for fighting that for as long mm -hmm. as I did. Um, mm -hmm. Here's a little dog bowls that the water yeah. bowls that go in for the 24A. There you go. And then now we got a finished van. And the girls are going to go through, test elect electrical. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to go through. And so is clean. this the one with the storage in it? Nope, this is just a 22 okay. C. Oh, okay. With lithium. Oh, lithium's yep. down here. Yep. Okay. So 22 C. The fresh water tank would always be mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you choose a lithium battery, 
the water tank goes below. Mm -hmm. We heat it with a heat pad. And we always want to protect the battery inside. Protect the battery yep. first. Okay. And for you folks that are wondering, here are the new rear doors for the Beyond. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you some opportunity this for. Is a, this is a Mercedes, though. No, this is a Beyond. Oh, this is a Ford. Beyond. Yep. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep. Sorry. So. Um, oh, so this is what the new Beyond is going to look like on the. This is a new option that we okay. came out with. Uh, customers asked us for more insulation. Mm. Okay. So I couldn't. If you were to take this off, you've got the OEM plastic mm -hmm. that's covering the mechs, right? And you've got the automotive black seal mm -hmm. tar. You know what I'm talking about yeah. if you take off a door panel? Mm -hmm. Customers were peeling that off mm -hmm. and putting insulation up behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got major water intrusion mm -hmm. capabilities, mm -hmm. okay? So I didn't want them going behind the OEM plastic. Mm -hmm. So I had to build out the interior wall just mm -hmm. enough, move this forward, Mm -hmm. uh, half inch, okay. and then now we're able to insulate behind to the door. Get some insulation yep. in behind this. Cool. Yep. All right. Very nice. Finishes out a little bit. Yeah. Is there? Um, okay. So these are all. These are yeah. all. Uh, is this? Is this a finished version of these Mercedes we've been looking this is, at? Uh, this is getting ready to have Sumo put on. Okay. And getting ready for short chairs and getting ready for running board for short running boards. This okay. is a cherry interior. Okay. And we're going to get sumo put on and running boards put on. Thad's going to hit nice. that tomorrow. Yeah, cherry interior looks good. Yep. A lot of the... It's darker. It is darker. But it gives you a more luxurious yep. feel, you know. Um, a lot it's, of it's our... It's moodier, which is nice to me. I get a common call. Mm -hmm. um, hey, I'm, I'm 68 to 74 years old. Watch behind mm -hmm. you, Lola. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I went to the doctor and uh, he's given me six years to live mm -hmm. and I got a 42 foot diesel motor home and a lot of the older Galleria customers come out of the motorized and Cherry mm -hmm. is the most popular. It's easier to yeah. actually get around and yeah. just go a lot of different yeah. places. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Can we see the interior of this finished one? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a finished one that looks like what we've been looking at here? Yeah. All, all along. We'll show that. Okay. Awesome. Lola's going to like this. Uh, it's got a nice big refrigerator in there. Go ahead, Lola. Let's, I think uh, Nick's trying to see if he can get lights. Okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. Girls just need to clean this up a little bit. Talked about us insulating above the Ford headliner because we put a storage above like in your van. Okay. Close these back. The back doors are closed. Just real clean, monotone. Yeah, Lola um, likes this layout. Um, I think for a lot of good reasons. We went with, uh, she likes the fridge and stuff like that. And she likes that big bench back there. I think I went with what, we're, what we have just because it's more room in there. Yeah, because it know? was all wheel drive. Huh? Keep this up. Because it well, was all yeah, wheel drive. This, yeah. Isn't this all wheel drive too? Yep. Yeah, this is all wheel drive. But it's, I wanted to like feel like for it to be bigger and roomier in there. You know, along the way. So you know what? I didn't realize that these things are supposed to be somehow strapped in. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can do anything you want once it's yours. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. What we think is a right placement for something might not be the mm -hmm. way we think you're waking up in the. I mean, we go. Okay, so I'm waking up in the morning. Mm -hmm. So now I got to go grab that post and then mm -hmm. reach back here and put the tape. That mm -hmm. doesn't make sense, guys. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm waking up. In the, I mean, we mm -hmm. we role yeah, play like did, that. Yeah. You're sleeping this way, you're sleeping yep. that way. Yep. Yeah. So what's this person do? Oh, uh, the table. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. This is cool. All right, yeah, so beautiful. let's see if we can. So here, before we ship a van, the gals notice we got a little Ford damage. We got to bring in a body repair person to take a look at that. It looks oh, like a little, just some paint fleck. That's so tiny for someone yep. to have noticed. Yep. LED lighting's amazing. Really sh shows all of our wrinkles and defects doesn't ah, it? Okay. So this is a 22D for dinette. There will be cushions here. Mm -hmm. What are the tables underneath? Are those the tables, underneath? what those do, great question Lola. The tables that don't have a base, fill this in. Okay. So then you pull the cushion down and over. Oh I see. Yep, I know, this I know is how you would bridge these two. Gotcha. We can do okay. it that way but I got a bags. different idea for yours that I want oh, okay. to run by you here. Okay, very yep. nice. Um, what layout is this again? 22D. 22D. So you're 22RB. Mm -hmm. We looked at the 22C, mm -hmm. 22D, dinettes. Dinette. And this is, um, this is useful. Uh, 
pet owners, mm -hmm. uh, two exits, mm -hmm. in and out. Mm -hmm. Yours is an in and out, you got two exits. Mm -hmm. C, you only got one way in, one way out. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay? Yeah. Um, my now, truck breaks mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. I can put PVC pipe in here, I can put two by fours in here, I can put my bike, my skis, my mm -hmm. fishing poles. It seems like for the D, a little bit more outdoorsy active, C, a little mm -hmm. bit more toury. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are people yeah. using the rear bath for mostly? What's that? Uh, the experience? rear bath is just a personal preference. Um, you know, they the, like the bigger shower. They just like the bigger shower, the view. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't understand showering in front of everybody. That's why we <laughs> did the. No, did, it's not that you're showering, but when you're a big guy, like yeah, this, I mean things you know, hang out, and, like, you know. Around, well, and then yeah. also to go to the commode. I mean, I understand the nature, and we want to see. But can does do they need to see all of this when I'm going to the bathroom? Yeah, but it's all close. In yours, yeah. You go to a Travato or mm -hmm. some of these other guys. It's all open. It's all open. Oh. So we're just. Yeah, we're just here with nature. Yeah. But sometimes I do pick out the window. That's okay. You can lean forward, and, and all they got to see is the chin and the knees yeah. instead of the, our, our whole. But yeah. anyway, uh, a little the, squeak and peek. Yeah. Dinette, uh, the D has seat belts. Um, yeah. These big windows are just really yeah. awesome. You yeah. know, just think that you can open up that much of a window. Oh yeah. And, and um, you know, yeah, and see out through that. End. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to see a I would like to see a like Murphy bed situation. Um in We're working these, on it. We're you know, working on it. I got yeah. something I'll show you here in a little bit. Off camera. Right. And then what's nice about these also, this dimension here goes to right here. Yeah. So your bagged sports chairs, your mm -hmm. little league chairs, those Push them under there, yeah. And they go perfect, there. thirty-six inches. Yeah. Twenty-four Q. The Q stands for four front seats. Okay, so this is a 24 Q. Yep. Okay. All the chairs swivel, so you oh. can poker games, card games, oh, cool. entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> now I you'll be happy to see this. Yet. You'll be happy to see this. Come on in. Yeah. Even Galleria customers get a small fridge too on occasion. Right. Look at that, Lola. You know, you get the seats here, you get the smaller fridge. Yep. So. But it's just, yeah, this more is nice. family. Yeah. This, this this floor plan and our T, which is a triple seat, was kind of fading mm -hmm. until COVID hit, mm -hmm. and then back to everybody being together. Yeah, like we like we've got uh, two boys. They're, yep, they're grown. Yep, you know, they're men. But yep, yeah. something while yeah. we got everybody here. Your shower is going to be very similar to this. Mm -hmm. So most most of the B vans that you're doing reviews on right now mm -hmm. have one single shower door. Mm -hmm. Why don't we shut this real quick so right. you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has one single shower door, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's fine, but hear me out. Get ready to take a shower, right? Mm -hmm. Put my towel down, mm -hmm. get in the shower. Mm -hmm. Done with shower. Mm -hmm. Step out of the shower mm -hmm. on my towel, right. and I can dry, dry off. off. I've got privacy, mm -hmm. and I'm not putting my wet feet in socks in the shower or right. putting my wet feet into the underwear. Right. I got an actual private place that I that you could do yep. it, and you don't have to worry so much. Like if you know how the floors are put in, which yep. is what we we're talking about here. Yep. Then you're not worried so much about this getting. Uh, it's getting wet and then there's still a lot of room back here oh, yeah. so when those four people if they want to sit down they can come back here yep. and sit down there's a, a usable seat uh, this is maybe not so much more of a chase more yeah. of a chase Put okay the under there yeah. I never want children sitting here while okay. it's in, while yep. it's driving adults I'll leave it up to you mm -hmm. um, children always in the front seats because we've got a tethered uh, mm -hmm. three-point for for them yeah um, you know little Little amenities for the gals. Yeah. If you want to yeah. come back, you got the mirror. Mm -hmm. and then oh, this is this, cool. Lo yeah, Lola's this missing little, a mirror big time. Just this little jewelry drawer. Yeah, yeah. come back here, Lola. Oh, I like the jewelry drawer. You know where I put my jewelry right now? Check it out. In the um, panel box. Okay. When I lift it up, there's a, a ledge. Yep. I just drop my watch, my ring, everything right yeah. in there, and my glasses. <laughs> this is cool. Because it was uh, either that or the drawer at the yeah. kitchen sink, and that's got the 24Q is a good layout too, I yep. think. Yep. Yeah. Not bad. Very nice. Like and 
as we were talking about, you've got windows back here that you can open. So those two open. Yep, those open. These two open. A lot of windows to open is really a good thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Makes um, it feel roomier yeah. than it is. And then so with the door, with the sliding door, if you close just uh is this a power door? No. Nope. Okay. So so let's see. Let me grab the door. What's nice is so this door also has windows. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, let's see. What's we'll Lola talking about? Oh yeah, lots of rooms. So in the Mercedes, we decided since you've got so much ceiling height, um, if it's raining and you've got your, we used to put overhead storage, storage there. Yeah. And I'd go to Tampa and I'd be talking to this guy and he'll just sit here and do this, Lolo. Boom. And I'm Boom. like, sir. We, sir, you gotta stop doing. That. I mean, mm -hmm. and I, heck, when I first started, I did it. And then, if you're a big guy, and you gotta get to the back of the van, and it's a snowstorm, rainstorm, guess what you're doing? You're either doing that, or you're running outside mm -hmm. to come back in. And we just thought we're in a 24 foot two chassis. Mm -hmm. We've got tons of storage in here. Yeah, this is a Let's lot just of give storage some convenience. To what we see other places. A little bit more storage, yeah, and it actually makes the van. Romeo. There you yeah. go. Yeah. This is nice. It's a nice layout, yep. actually. Uh, remote control, fan, mm -hmm. um, you yeah, know, just very sharp, sharp fan, sharp van. Mm -hmm. um, we've had some posts um, out there um, talking about our drawers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to address some things. These drawers are not supposed to recess all the way to the face of the cabinet frame. If that were to happen, and these, which don't move or vibrate much, they would leave mar marks on the front of the maple frame. So we put these bumpers here. We are working to find other bumpers. I know these mm -hmm. fall off, but we do ex want a standoff. Mm -hmm. You've got your soft close capability, but at the end there you hear this. There's a locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. For all those things to work, we keep it off, standard off the face of the cabinet. Just something that was on the, um, on the website, on, yeah. uh, on, on feedback. And I like things like this. Yep. You know, you can put your spices in. Yep. Um, something that I would like to see is more hooks and things like that that you could pull down and hang stuff on. You know, we were thinking about yeah. maybe spacing some things a little bit different and yeah. having some netting. Yeah, some, netting would be nice. Netting. Even, um, so believe it or not, even up here, netting would be nice. Yeah. Not that you're always using it, but if you're traveling and you, like, Let's say you're the weather and you want to have your rain jackets and stuff like that, but easily accessible. Mm -hmm. You don't have to come all the way in or whatever. Yeah, it would be nice to see, yep. you know, some stuff like that. And, you so. know, this is this is um, one of the two floor plans we had for Galleria when we started. Mm -hmm. And it's been tried and true. We've modified a little bit, but um, great. How many of these cues do you make? Do you make a lot of them or not? As they're, they're coming back strong. They are. Yep. Okay. They're coming back very strong. Yeah. I like it as a layout. Yeah. You know, if you've got four. Now, can you sleep four people in here? You can sleep three. Uh huh. Um, we you got to get a you have to get a real skinny air mattress for yep. the floor. <laughs> or sometimes you can flip those back around. Uh huh. And you can make some configuration here. Yeah. So it's someone can. Out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That That's right. cool. Awesome. All right. So is that it? Are we wrapping this up? Yeah. I just want to say thank you to you too. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure engaging with you and with you know with your backstory and the crossover that we're seeing. Yeah. Uh, it's it's exciting that you know your car, um, your other segment, mm -hmm. and the current B vans. It's just really cool to see how tight all three groups can be. Right. And um, you know we follow you guys um, among other people, and um, you're really showing everybody an opportunity to maybe enhance their lives. Mm -hmm. And um, you know don't be afraid if you're a newbie. We're here. There's going to be bad things that are going to happen. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm mm -hmm. not going to lie to you. Uh, you. You'd hit me upside it's the head. That's how you deal with it, yeah, though. Um, yeah. But we're here. We're mm -hmm. here. And, and my goal is if we create a problem for you or you have a problem created by us or just a problem, how quick can we fix it? How do we communicate through the whole thing? And are we always there? Are we always returning calls that we said we were going to? Always following up. Um, not giving up too much information, but giving the the correct information, and and we're really good at problem solving, yeah. and um, yeah. that's just because we deal with a transient customer, and we got to do things a little bit different than other divisions, and um, you know we just we appreciate everybody's business, and uh, you know we're growing, um, but we're going to be cognizant. I don't I don't need to grow this into some behemoth. We're going to do it responsibly and at the right rate 
to make sure that every van we put out was like we put out a one a day. So yeah, um, we just thank you guys, and it's been a pleasure uh, meeting you all. And um, same here for yep, me, man. Yep. I think that um, I made some really good choices getting into this, and um, just from what I've seen with you guys in terms of responding, not just to myself, yep. like I sit back and watch and see how you deal with other people. And uh, I really appreciate that. And I would say to, to folks out there, you know, like you said, don't be afraid. You can get into this. And if you're dealing with a great company, if it's not Coachman, yep. you know, you'll be able to tell, right? And they'll help you work things out. So with this, if you can't get it worked out with the folks you bought it from, you know, if it's able to drive, you can drive yep. up here like we did today. We started out at my van. I don't have any. Yep like big issues right. at all um, otherwise I'll tell you guys about that but you can come up here camp out here and then get your I think how, how does it work like you have an appointment your van goes in and there's a waiting yep. area give, maybe give, give us a call um, plenty in advance you mm -hmm. know if you want in July yeah call in April May mm -hmm. okay um, some occasions um, you drop your van off for two hours. We got two facilities where you can hang out. It's not mm -hmm. like a Mercedes car dealership. Right. Uh, we're, we're, we're still an RV company, yeah. um, but we got plenty to do in the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. It's very inviting. You guys were surprised yeah, at, the, at the campground, yeah. and you get to co-mingle uh, with other owners, yes. uh, hear their experiences, share your stories. Yeah, and um, this part of Indiana is really nice. It's, it's like us. Uh, Amish country as well. Lots yep. of nice places for you guys to shop and eat. And All good intentions good back up here. Um, yeah. I, you know, I learned a l the product reflects the character of the people that we're able to get around here because mm -hmm. there's a lot of character around mm -hmm. here. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a very um, Midwestern area. Mm -hmm. And we stick to what we know. And um, we want to make people happy. And we want to do the best darn job we can for our customers because, uh, you know, how you go is how we go. Yeah, That's, absolutely. Yep. So this is going to be a long video. So I'm going to put out probably the long video first and then break it up for people. But because I know some people love the long videos. Yep. I know I do. Um, and uh, I hope that Nick, you'll, you'll come in and answer some questions absolutely. if people have questions. Absolutely. And stuff we'll like here. that. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe here to the channel. Nick, for, for Coachman, if people want like either to contact you guys or see your social media, do you have a lot of that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah we're doing, um, we talked a little bit earlier this week, we're doing, mm -hmm. a, we're filming a bunch of videos, small, technical. Great. Um, well, pardon me. Whether technical or very small, how to fill a fresh tank. Awesome. Um, that we did a survey. What's the number one question? All of Forest River, thirty thousand people. Mm -hmm. How to fill a fresh tank? Yeah. So we really got to understand what's going on in this industry and everybody yeah. jumping into it. And we're 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 we're, we're doing a really good job. Yeah. Um, I'm very proud to see where we've come from over the last ten years. Forest River customer satisfaction 100% is our goal mm -hmm. and we live it we yeah. live it i think that's a great thing i always tell companies when i deal with them make the technical videos that people want to see you know that's mostly why they will go to the company's uh, social media website or whatever i want to you know we're in the middle of the road somewhere we're trying to figure out how to heat up the water yep. we're not doing it right yes we can read the manual yep. we, <laughs> hired, we want to see a video yep, and figure we hired it out a social media gal Send mm -hmm. us your pictures. Send us your pictures. You know, mm -hmm. it is beautiful around here, but we don't get to go to Utah for two weeks. We're not mm -hmm. retired. We haven't retired yet or haven't mm -hmm. been able to do that. Send us your pictures. When you send us those beautiful pictures, whether it's Florida, California, I don't mm -hmm. care, Indiana, Michigan, mm -hmm. um, we kind of live vicariously through mm -hmm. you guys. That's what we want to see. Smiles on your face, mm -hmm. adventure, um, getting away. Just, yeah. just getting away and forgetting about everything. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you guys I really so much. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, guys. We're out of here. Big thanks to Lola. You could give, yeah, Lola. There you go. Thanks to Lola doing all this Great hard job, work Lola. behind the Thank camera. You. We appreciate it. Peace. There we go. This door is actually a little bit lighter. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Just exit. I want oh. a nice okay. exit. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.